Hello, survivors of the zombie apocalypse. I'm Jail Anderson Zero One, and welcome back to hopefully not a rage-filled stream. Cause look at this, we got the webcam fixed. Got Courtney's theme. Got Gant playing in the background. Jesus Christ, he's going hardcore. Whoops. Alright. I want to say I was heavily debating playing Resident Evil today because this is the 28th anniversary of the 1996 game and the 22nd anniversary of the remake I was really debating and I was like ah, do I really want to do it and I was like god but we've been neglecting miles and I really want to play my boy Apollo my attorneys you know what I'm saying? So we gotta... We gotta get into them, you know? So, so let's get into them. Let's get back... Get back to my attorneys. Gotta have all the lawyers. Alright, Courtney, you've had... You've had your theme played enough. Get out of here, bitch. We're going to be talking to you in a minute anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's loud as fuck. Oh, the Grand Turnabout. Beginning part two? Where, wait, this is the beginning part two? Excuse me? We're only in part two. Eh, I guess we'll... We're going to push through. We're going to push through hardcore. Oh yeah, I forgot it's Ray. Look how cool Ray down there. <laughs> that little squirrel. Motherfucker. I love him. Oh, missed this theme. Court is now in session. Is the defense ready? Of course, Your Honor. We can begin whenever you want. The prosecution has been ready from the start, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Jill Crane, the attorney in charge of the defense, has passed on from this world. Oh fuck, I forgot she she, she was an attorney, wasn't she? I didn't realize the PIC also had defense attorneys. I thought they would just all be prosecutors and judges because they're like so hateful against uh, defense attorneys. But furthermore, Sebastian DeBest, the prosecutor in charge, has disappeared. Oh, yeah, because he ran away like a little bitch. He was, like, crying. And so Francisco and Mr. Shields have taken over their duties. Okay. Before we begin, I would like to apologize for the delay of today's trial. Do you? As the crime took place in of the prison, a place where justice is normally administered, and the defendant was the warden of the prison, further exacerbating the situation. Additional time was, spe was specially arranged to investigate and prepare for the trial. In addition, the defense attorney in charge of the case, Jill Crane, has recently passed away. She was murdered. Just say it. Just, just straight on say it, bitch. She was, she was. Murder in cold blood. She was shanked diddled. I think she was sh stabbed. Sh she was shish kebobbed straight in the titty. Due to these circumstances, the trial was further delayed. Mr. Shields, Miss Von Karma, at this time, I'd like to give you my gratitude for taking up this responsibility on short notice. Isn't Ray also being, um,. Kate's defense attorney. Dude, he's got like more riz and as a defense attorney to Phoenix. Like he's getting cases like left and right. 
He's like, I just came back and to the law office and shit, I'm getting so many cases. Like, I got seven right off the bat. Guess this is the last John Corky Pie's friend left behind for us, huh? Well, Ray's more than happy to help out. Though well, having said that, I only had enough time to skim through the case files. Do you need an assistant? I can assist you. I, I can't channel spirits, though. Are you okay on your end, Franny Pie? What kind of prosecutor abandons his own case and vanishes without a trace? I won't allow any more delays in this trial while we wait for that foolish man to return. I have received the evidence just now. There should be no problem continuing the trial. You have my thanks. And with that, I hear my call the defendant Patricia roll into the stand. Oh shit. Oh, it's this bitch. They let her keep her ferrets? <gasps> I love that one. The little arctic fox. Now then, the prosecution please. Will the prosecution give us their opening statement? Bitch killed him. <laughs> I would be a terrible prosecutor. Very well, Your Honor, the defendant. P please, wait, Your Honor. What is it, bitch? <laughs> well, there's something I'd like you to fill me in on. Just what exactly am I doing in a place like What? What do you mean? I thought it was perfectly clear that why you're at court. Then perhaps you would do well to listen to the opening statement. Okay. Hmm, so if I listen to it, I'll get it, huh? Okay then, let's hear. That, that, that was the plan from the start. Now if you would kindly shut up and listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would have said it a lot differently. I would have been shut the fuck up. You have a whip. Use it. The incident occurred in the detention center in the prison warden Roland is in charge of. The victim is Horace Knightley, who was being held in the detention center. The prosecution is certain that this woman here is the culprit. This knife, the murder weapon, is the decisive of- Aha, what the fuck? This von karma is something wrong. Th that's impossible. The evidence is- What's wrong with the evidence, Franny Pie? She's gonna whip you, dude. The evidence. The knife's gone. The, the chisel and token spell attached to it is missing, too. What? What? It, dude. What? I, don't, I like it. I was like, I didn't do it. Order. Order. Prosecutor Von Karma, what is the meaning of this? I, I, I don't understand it either, Your Honor. If there's no evidence, then I suppose there's not much reason for me to be here. Some prosecutor can't even hold on to one little piece of evidence for what it does. Oh. Oh, she's gonna kill you. Whipper. I, I only received everything that the previous prosecutor had. I it appears the culprit is the pampered prosecutor, the boy blunter. <laughs> Yo, leave Seppi out of this, man. He didn't do nothing. He's just a baby. Sibby is just a baby, man. Everybody needs to calm down. Hey, Courtney Pie. What is it? Your Honor, consider our predicament. What say we postpone the trial until later? Dude, did you not hear her at the beginning? They've been postponing this since 1924. The defense's proposal is overruled. Eh, uh, Courtney Pie. Your de her defense attorney. If there's no evidence, 
I know, right? It'd be troubling for me if this trial were to be delayed any further. I just want everyone to know that I'm innocent as soon as possible. Innocent? I've had more than enough of your foolish. And besides, you don't have any evidence, right? I recall a certain saying. In court, evidence is everything. Wasn't it? Y'all need to stop hanging out with Kristoff Gavin or some shit, because this is getting really uncanny. Since there's no evidence, that would make me innocent, isn't that right, Your Honor? Dude, the proof is in the pudding. You're just a crazy beast. That is correct. <clears throat> what? What, you're her defense attorney. You should be, like, technically happy. Oh, wait, you were there when we got all the evidence. That's right. The prosecution has not produced this sufficient evidence to prove the defendant guilty. As such, I hereby find the defendant pretty sure. Come on, Miles. Oh, I forgot that he's got a smooth ass voice. Hold your horses, Courtney Pie. You can't just declare her innocent all of a sudden. Is something the matter for the defense to object to a not guilty verdict? Well, I mean, <laughs> even you must know that the warden over there is guilty as fuck, right? You were there with us when we found the murder weapon. You were there. Yeah, she was. Mr. Shields, a judge must remain impartial when handing down a, down a verdict. That is why I cannot allow myself to get caught up in my own personal feelings. How is his personal feelings when you were there? The person who was present when the murder weapon was discovered and the judge sitting before you now are two completely different people. Uh, you're fucking kidding me, right? So the person that was with me at the bar was also somebody completely different last night, huh? And the person that woke up with me this morning was also different. And that explains the slap. I can only ha <clears throat> I can only hand down a verdict based upon the evidence that was presented, which was jack shit. There is evidence. It's just well, it's not here right now. But you can someone stole it, and I'm gonna get. It. A few minutes, that's all I need. I'll find the evidence to return to court without fail. The prosecution requests a brief recess, Your Honor. It just, the, the case just, just, it's just started. The trial just started two seconds ago. Don't worry, I got my own evidence. I have this piece of paper. I have, um, a doll, a head. Um, I have a, a picture of a tower. Um, I have a dead dude. Um, yeah. Yo, dying. Pew pew. We're back. My boy cam is fixed. It wasn't working last week and I was really salty about it. Pew pew. Courtney is not amused. The defense would also like a recess, Your Honor. Courtney Pie, please. She looks like she's ready to fucking smack me. I understand. I shall grant your request. Court literally just started like two minutes ago and we're already having a recess <gasps> through the swing set. Let's go! Well, Justine, darling, aren't you wishy washy today? These two women are about to gang on you, bitch. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> this court will now adjourn for a 15 minute recess, during which the prosecution and the defense shall prepare for the presumption of the trial. Understood, Your Honor. Phew, that was a close one. I don't like your quotation marks. Like, that was close. Wink. <laughs> Whips him. Court is now adjourned. Smack. Alright, what are we doing? Then we find it together, the evidence. 
Yes, we certainly did. Cool. What's the matter, detective? Well, it looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Really? Why? Of course that's why the metal detector reacted. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to take a look at this. The chisel? Wasn't that just the fake murder weapon? Psh! <laughs> Dojin hid this chisel inside his dog's mouth, and the real murder weapon was hidden in very much the same way. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking Arctic Fox! It's just licking her sweat. That is so weird <laughs> and disgusting. It always makes me go bleh. The real murder weapon is in the pond inside the alligator. I wonder if it was stolen by someone. Who's screaming my name? Oh, it's these bitches. I. Mm, it's Regina. Miss Barry and Mr. Keys. Did you come to attend the trial? I came because I heard there's a really fun show around here. So, where is it? The trial for the case I got caught up in was supposed to have already started, but... Our practice ran a little late. I believe it was somewhere around here, wasn't it? I don't remember what voice I gave this fucker, so... He has a new voice now. Actually, two key pieces of evidence have gone missing. Two, the chisel and the niffy. It's a knife, Kate. Niffy. The trial's in recess now. Sort of like an intermission. You just missed it, Simon. What? What? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Looks like Simon's going to get arrested again. No, 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 I can't. Um... I guess Simon is his usual noisy self. Psh. Huh? Alright, who's talking? And here comes another noisy individual. Okay. Now, now, Franny Pie, let's just take a moment and calm down a bit. Calm the tits. Maybe you could put that whip of yours away, hmm? What do you say? That foolish prosecutor. When I get my hands on him. I love the slap sounds. Just make like a rap out of it. My whip is going to give him the thrashing of a lifetime. <laughs> He's like, I'm fucking out. Miles, why don't you try talking to her? I mean, that's your sister, right? So, come on. Good grief on that note. I guess I should probably hear what she has to say. She is pissed. I like how he's like, hmm, never mind. I'm not going to talk to her. Okay, looks like you've gotten your memories back. Yeah, I'm all better now. Gory was really worried, you know? Though that other kid was also pretty cute. Well then, now that you've recovered, how about a hug for old time's sake? Nope. We need to focus on the trial right now. Ha <laughs> ha, psh psh. Eh, things aren't looking good. At any rate, we'll have to search for the evidence. But we can't interrupt the trial. Hmm, Gray's in a pickle. Great! If only there was someone who could find the evidence for us. That look of expectation on your face says it all. Fucker. Miles, you still don't have your prosecutor's badge, right? Do you finally feel like following in your father's footsteps? <laughs> I simply left it in someone else's care. I wasn't stripped of my badge. Yeah, why does everyone keep saying I'm f I was fired? I was not. I literally just put it on a thing, and said, peace out, bitch. I, I was not fired. I literally just kind of resigned 
half-heartedly. Just saying. Furthermore, right now I am unable to follow in my father's footsteps. I see. Well, there's no need to rush your decision. Psst. Take all the time you need to determine the path you want to follow. In any case, the door is always open for you at the Edgeworth Law Offices. Where if I wanted to go to Wright & Co? What if I want to be part of the Co? In more ways than one. Okay? I'm just saying. Mr. Shields. Alright, I'm gonna present you some shit. You wanna see a dead dude? Ah, ha, ha, this, uh, this evidence holds the so-called key to the case, right? Uh, it's possible. Yep, then hold on to it closely. Hurry, hurry, put it away! He doesn't think much about this. Do you like this one? Oh, you don't like that one, huh? You don't like the Mozilla head? Fuck you. What about this one? You suck. I love his theme, though. It's such a banger. Carhouse is so much fun. There's even a wild animal tamer here. A wild animal tamer? Her show, Her showmanship could use some work. But that lady really knows how to handle a whip. <gasps> Although in her case, her whip is used to tame humans. Bing! Da -da -da -da. Yo, Simon, what you doing? Is there anything we can do? Hmm. Well, actually, I just got a great idea. If we put on an animal show inside the courtroom, everyone would be caught up in it. And then, maybe they'd have to delay the trial another day. <gasps> no way, no way, no way! If we disappear like that, I'd get arrested for sure! Nah, you'll be fine. Of course it's not so cold as to arrest someone for showing everyone a good time. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? I would prefer if you didn't f flag flagrantly encourage such criminal behavior. Hello, sir. During the recess, no one may enter the courtroom. Really? No one can get in? Like I said, during the recess, no one may enter the courtroom. You may enter the park f for the swing set. But if no one can go in, no one can resume the trial and we'll be stuck in recess forever. <laughs> You're right, we're so doomed. Mr. Edgeworth, do you like how I pointed out the con that contradiction just now? I don't think you'll gain any useful information by pressing the bailiff. Alright, I talked to everybody. What's over here? It's Edgeworth! Where do you think you're going? No, I wasn't going anywhere. I was just examining the door. I see. It's the number one rule of a great thief. Of a great thief. Ensure your escape route. Good thinking. If you want to become the Yaku, you have to go to ask who's assistant. All you gotta do is ask. Since it's you, I'll let you skip the written exam and skills test. I'll hire you on the spot. That, that's quite alright. I appreciate the sentiment. Fucking weirdo. Francesca, remember when we used to run around here as children? Oh, if it isn't former prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. Oh, hell no. Slap, slap. Francesca. Those who have abandoned the path of a prosecutor do not belong here. Damn. That's rude. Now be a good boy and go home. Figure out what you want to do with your life. Fine, I'll go practice my knitting. So what are you going to do, Francesca? The recess is only 15 minutes and so we wasted 14 of it of me running around. <laughs> You're always so calm and collected. Like an anchorman reading off a teleprompter. I don't know, I've seen a few of them like break down, especially when they're reading about a fat cat. <laughs> they always break down during that shit. 
It makes me sick. Oh no, I love fat cats. They're so cute. I should probably stay classy and avoid a confrontation with her for now. Yeah, she's really gripping that whip tightly. Francesca, I never expected you to end up taking over the prosecution for this case. The bodyguard of the president of Zhang Fa, Horst Knightley, was murdered. The defendant is the former warden of the prison, Patricia Rowland. The knife she used was the murder weapon and had been prepared as evidence. However, the murder weapon has disappeared without a trace. Not only did he abandon his own case, but he also made me look like a fool in court. But I kill him! Burn up! The next time I see that foolish fool of a prosecutor, I whip some backbone into him. I don't mind if you whip some backbone into him, but stop whipping innocent bystanders. If only there was someone who would go search for the evidence for us. Some, some nice young lad in a suit and a cravat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 26, Ray. Yes, yeah, some young lad in a suit and cravat. <laughs> he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and I looked at him. <laughs> Very well. I'll go look for them. Oh, Miles! You do that for us! <laughs> You're such a good boy! Of course, finding the evidence within 15 minutes will be no easy time. Dude, it has been way more than 15 minutes at this point. I don't think the 15 minute timer like starts when you say, I'm finding the evidence. The 15 minute timer started the moment that bitch slammed her gavel. While well, divorce comes to worse, Uncle Ray and Franny Pie will help you solve for time. Oh, you've been watching Phoenix's trial. Alright. He's like, I learned from the best! Oh. Why aren't you coming up? Why aren't you coming up? I learned from the best! The picture wasn't coming up, so... My bad. Oh, that was my own scene, that's why. It's okay, I'm dumb. I was trying to press a button to put, um... Was it this one up but I was hitting the button that was the scene for the court but you know pfft, that's okay I went to college that's all right until you recover the evidence we will let her hand down a verdict Please do so, Francesca. Are you okay with this? No. You're asking me, Francesca von Karma, to help you out. Dude, I took you to the hospital when you got shot in the shoulder. Yo, welcome to the stream, Waffle Ruffled Wast. We like Capcom. We're always in court. We're always doing zombie apocalypses. Sometimes we're trying to catch things in balls, whether it's Pokemon or Pal World. There's no in between. Sometimes we're random as hell. So welcome. Speaking of welcome. 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 
That is a trigger fire command that anybody can use, by the way. So if you see people in the chat that you would like to say welcome to, just use that command and you can anybody can use it. It's free. It does not cost a thing. At least I hope not. Or else I have a really high bill that I don't know about. Woo! But welcome, welcome. Come, come, have some chips. But yeah, but Francesca, I helped your ass so many times in life. You can help me. You'd be better off spending the rest of your life as an anchor man for the look deuce. I mean, he does kind of dress the part. He's got the hair. He's got the cravat. He's got the suit. <gasps> Wait a minute. Does, doesn't the movie Anchor Man? Doesn't Will Ferrell's character dress like that? Ron Burgundy. He's he's got like a burgundy colored suit. <laughs> he even has like a pin on the lapel. And it almost and it's round like a defense attorney badge. That's kind of funny. Wow. That is that is ironic. All right. Not gonna lie, that's that's pretty funny. Miss Von Karma, this is an emergency. We could really use your cooperation. <clears throat> I I understand. As acting prosecutor, I, along with the that attorney over there, shall continue this trial. Meanwhile, you, the former prosecutor, shall run around and look for the evidence. All for my sake. It's a job that suits you perfectly. I'm glad that you're on board. <laughs> He's got that fucking smirk. I I'll help out too, because I, I really don't want to get arrested again. I don't like you. This sounds like fun. Regina wants to tag along too. All right, that would be helpful. Now then, where should where should we begin? I think we should go find that person and hear what they have to say. Who should we talk to in order to learn where the evidence went? Ah, well, we can't talk to this dude. He's dead. Gumshoe, I don't know. I guess we should try to find Sebastian, right? Yes, the person in charge of the evidence was Sebastian DeBess. Uh, you mean that rookie prosecutor, right? Got it. I'll leave him to you. Oh, okay, he ran. Alrighty, time for Uncle Ray to have a strategy meeting with the opposing counsel. Just a two- ah! Miles Edgeworth, you better not keep me waiting, lest you end up like your friend here. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. Fuck you, Uncle Ray. Have fun. Bye, beesh. Ready, bye. Wait for me. As he just slowly walks away. Now then, let's go help look for Sebastian as well. Oh, hi, beesh. Uh, we weren't plotting. Judge Courtney. If it isn't Prosecutor Edgeworth, I hope that all is well. No, it's not. All is not well. Just what was going on in that trial earlier. One, my seat in the gallery was not comfortable. Those seats suck. Okay, there's no need for that. Next time, bring a cushion. But, my butt! Even though Miss Courtney should know exactly who the culprit is. What made you? In a court of law, the only thing that truly matters is evidence. Whatever my own feelings may be, it should not affect the verdict. I don't know. 
Old man Judge McGee, he's like, I like puppies and you don't guilty. Everybody's guilty because you don't like puppies. Like, he's like that kind of judge, dude. So is this the judge persona of Justine Courtney we're seeing? <clears throat> Cold-blooded and heartless. It's fine if you think of me as such. I do. And it's hot. Even as a judge- oh, even as a judge he's still this stubborn? Judge Courtney, there's just one thing I'd like to ask you. And what would that be? Two nights ago, you went to the roof of the Grand Tower. The roof, you say? I have photographic evidence, beesh. You met with the president there, correct? The two of you were caught on the security camera. Is there some sort of problem with that? Today, the president's body was discovered very close to the Grand Tower. <sighs> oh, th that's... You understand now, don't you? You're a suspect. What happened between you and the president up on the roof? Nothing. We merely spoke for a few minutes. Once our business was done, I headed straight home. I took the elevator back down alone. Indeed, that was shown on the security camera footage as well. What exactly did you and the president talk about? Th that I cannot say. I see, however, I cannot afford to let up just yet. That being the case, <laughs> I guess my only remaining option is to use that. Are we going to the chest dimension? She's definitely hiding something. And I'm going to draw it out of her to the chest dimension! Right? Chest dimension! Oh, you gotta love the chest dimension. Two nights ago, Judge Courtney met with Prison Huang. Oh, God. It is true that I spoke with Prison Huang on the roof of the Grand Tower. However, the, we only discuss business. There is no need to tell you what was said. Hmm, just like in the trial earlier, she won't reveal her personal feelings easily. When she's speaking as a judge, it would be better for me to wait and see what develops. Now then, I'll start by asking her what she talked about with the president. Mr. President! Could you tell me what you and the president talked about? My meeting with the president was strictly business, and since it has nothing to do with you, I am not obligated to answer your question. I appreciate your understanding. Even so, you certainly are a very busy person, aren't you? You're a member of the PIC and a judge as well. You even assist with the investigations. I am simply fulfilling the professional duties that have been assigned to me. Was your meeting with the president also one of your duties assigned to you as a judge? Yes, of course it was. I am one who lives for the law. I would never act outside my professional duties. This morning you returned Kay's promise notebook to me. I don't believe that that all of your actions are simply done for the sake of your duties. Duty! It's true, it seems I still retain some immature qualities. I want to call it immature was your own personal kindness. Weren't you also distressed when you found out the president had passed away? Yes, it is very unfortunate. Why did he have to die? Seems he was crushed by the head of a monster called the Mighty Muzilla. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Seems uh, is that true? You mean the president died at the temporary Muzilla film lot? Uh, yeah, that I'm surprised that you know about Muzilla. Like, okay. I yes. 
I had heard about it from Sebastian. He told me that the movie was being filmed near the Grand Tower. She seems awfully shaken up about that. And I'm also curious about Sebastian who went missing along with the evidence. She said she wanted to talk about the president. However, I might be able to get her to reveal her secret through another line of questioning. It's time to beat it out of her. Good take her gavel and smack her. She is flustered beyond normal. There must be something behind it. Where is prosecutor the best? Francesca may have taken over the prosecution in Sebastian's place. However, as long as he still possesses some of the evidence, the trial cannot proceed. I intend to carry out a fair trial. How's it fair with no evidence? <clears throat> if the prosecution is unable to present evidence, the defendant must be declared not guilty. That's not fair to the victim. I am a judge. I cannot allow my own personal feelings to get in the way. So you're saying you're not the least bit worried about Sebastian's whereabouts? Uh, of course I am. I am worried about Sebastian as well, but... Are you worried about someone else? You're worried about Sebastian as well? Wouldn't that mean that there is someone else you're worried about? Shut up. Uh, by any chance, would that person have something to do with your unnatural behavior? That's impossible. I... I am a follower of the law. I will not be swayed by personal feelings. It may be true that those who stand in court have a duty to follow the law. However, we're not superheroes. You and I are only human. It's impossible to completely ignore your own feelings and render an impartial judgment. <laughs> it is as you say. It's like now I cannot hand down an impartial verdict. Judge Courtney, why don't you tell me the truth? I, I, I just what am I supposed to do? For Judge Courtney to become this distraught. Should find out exactly who is she is searching for. Until now, she has been wearing the mask of a judge. This time, I should be able to draw all her true feelings. Are you searching for Muzilla? <laughs> judge Courtney, tell me who you are searching for. My lips are sealed. That is not something I can talk about right now. I don't have enough clues. Is the person you're searching for Sebastian by any chance? When Sebastian learned of his father's true colors, he went into hiding of his own free will. I am worried about him, but this may be a trial he needs to overcome on his own. Wait and see. Since he went into hiding of his own accord, he could return whenever he wanted to. Could it be the person you're searching for is unable to return under their own power? In regards to that, my lips are sealed. I am unable to talk about it right now. When I think about what might happen to that child if I talked- Ooh! That child? Could you tell me who you're referring to? I- It's nothing! Please pay it no mind. Judge Courtney's expression has changed. It seems I've managed to cover a clue. Judge Courtney. I've seen that clue. Could it be that you're searching for that child who has gone missing? Duh. Since you said it was a child, I presume they're of a young age, correct? I simply cannot answer any questions about him. That boy has nothing to do with you or the president's assassination. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Are you searching for Mozilla? 
Are you searching for the mighty Muzilla? <laughs> I don't have the time to play along with your jokes right now. It's not a joke! Just a moment ago, you were surprised to learn that the president had been crushed by Muzilla. <laughs> Was, I was simply surprised by the person's cause of death. To think that he passed away at the temporary film lot of all places. From the way you're talking, it seems you have a problem with where he died. Th that's not true, it's just for the present to have passed away at a film lot, a place where dreams are made. Oh shit. I just thought it would be better if the movie's cast and crew remain unaware of the truth. I'm very sorry to say this. However, the movie's cast and crew are already aware of the president's death. I encounter a female staff member, John Marsh, at the crime scene. Hello, Lexi. Call our. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. This is not a very good uh, panic face. Looks uh, a weird one. Makes her hands look tiny. <laughs> We play a lot of Capcom games, from Mace Attorney to Resident Evil. I've dabbled in some Devil May Cry. Have not played Street Fighter though. Never played Mega Man. I can tell you that right now. I do have Okami though. We're gonna play that one day. Noah, how could I have come to this? Hmm, she seems to react strongly when it comes to the stamp of the Mozilla film. This could be a useful clue. Who are you searching for? Alright, it's a missing child. Is he involved with the Mozilla movie? Alright, good. Earlier when Mozilla was brought up, it seemed to be a sensitive topic to you. Is that child you spoke of involved with the Mozilla movie? Nah, nah. How? How do you know that? You're usually so calm, yet you seem rather distraught right now. Please tell me, who is it? Who is that child? I understand. If you've come to know this much, I must kill you with my gavel. I shall prepare myself for the worst. That child, the child I'm searching for, is a boy by the name of John Marsh. John, why do you want to know his whereabouts? Well. That much, I simply cannot say. Judge Courtney, didn't you say you were prepared for the worst? G God damn. Even if you don't intend to talk, I am determined to expose the truth. That is my resolve. Yeah, give me all my time. Why is she searching for John? I must get her to tell me the reason. Are you acquainted with him? Are you acquainted with John by any chance? He is a famous movie star. I doubt there is anyone who doesn't know who he is. I actually hadn't heard of him until I met with him today. That just proves you have much to learn. Allow me to give you a lesson. I know everything about him. Oops. My apologies. I seem to have lost my composure. You tend to lose your calm whenever the conversation turns to John, don't you? Uh, uh, in any case, while I may know everything about John, it is a one-sided relationship. I don't have enough clues. <laughs> slap slap! <laughs> Maybe I should try another line of attack, okay? Are you a fan of his? 
Could it be that you're a fan of John Marsh? Yes. Yes. That's right. I am a fan of John Marsh, the famous child actor who has been called a prodigy. I knew his movie was being filmed in front of the Grand Tower. So the temporary film law had been in, on my mind. I see. I suppose a fan would be curious about that. Did you know that John was at the temporary film lot? Yes, of course I did. He said they would be filming there all day today, and yet... Did you hear that from him? Psh, psh. Almost sounds as if John told himself told you personally. Uh, I doubt he would give the schedule to a mere fan. That's true, isn't it? Please don't pay any mind to that statement. She made another slip of the tongue. She must be really worried about John. So, she's spoken with John. That could be a useful clue. <clears throat> Are you acquainted? I couldn't care less. God damn. You must have spoken with John. I understand you're worried about him, but aren't you a bit too flustered? You told me earlier that you had spoken with John. Doesn't that prove that you were indeed acquainted with him? Uh, uh, how could I have committed such an indis indiscretion? It appears that John and Judge Courtney are acquaintances. This could be a vital clue. Where is he right now? Actually, we are searching for John as well. Would you happen to have any idea where he might be? Why would you think that I would know where he is? John and I, there is no connection between us. Let me try using that clue. You two must be acquainted. I don't know what kind of a relationship you have with the John, but at the very least you two must be- the two of you must be acquaintances. Uh, eek! Judge Courtney, won't you allow us to help you in your search for him? Help? No, that won't be allowed. You- who won't allow it? The so-called goddess of law? The person who knows where that child is. A kidnapper? I see. Finally, I've connected all the pieces of the puzzle. The reason why you cannot easily talk about John. It was because someone kidnapped him, isn't that right? <laughs> Judge Courtney, I would like to hear the truth from your own lips. I understand that this time. I will truly be prepared for the worst. It was just as you to do. Someone has kidnapped John. As I thought, there was a kidnapping. Why was he sleeping in the middle of the floor? I hate when it happens. So how is John's kidnapping related to you in any way? John and I are... Mother and child. <laughs> I was unable to learn much about the conversation she had with the president, but I have learned of John's kidnapping. It was an unexpected result, but with that, it's checkmate. Shit. Logic just complete. Uh, is there Ezra, why were you guys just staring at each other for quite some time? Oh, we were in the chest dimension again. I, I hate when you do that. You guys just go into this weird dimension every time and you never invite me. You never ask. Well, why do I have to ask if I want to go to the chest dimension? The answer is always yes. What? J John is Miss Courtney's son? No way. I mean, he's already so big for him to be your... 
Yes, John is indeed my son. Please look at this. This is a clipping from a magazine. Bitch, I thought you were like gonna like give us like a family photo or like a piss birth certificate or something. <laughs> it's an article about John. Do you always carry this around with you? Like a weirdo? Yes, yeah, so I always keep it close by. What do you mean a weirdo? <laughs> it's like a charm to me. Seems the bond that they share is a strong one. However, are you absolutely certain that he's been kidnapped? Yes, I received a call from the kidnapper just before the trial started. What were their demands? They had only one demand. A not guilty verdict for Patricia Rowland. I see, so that's what happened. Since there's no evidence, that would make me innocent. Isn't that right, Your Honor? That is correct. Prosecution has not produced sufficient evidence to prove the defendant guilty. As such, I hereby find the defendant Patricia Rowland. So that's why you were going to deliver a not guilty verdict earlier. I am not qualified to be a judge. A judge must be able to remain impartial and composed above all else. And yet, despite this, in the trial just now, I... I was about to hint out a verdict that was led solely by my heart. Judge Courtney, the cause of the law must be furious with me. But I simply couldn't do it. I couldn't hand out a fair verdict if it meant I had to sacrifice my own son. Jack shit! Of course you can't. Okay. A real parent would never abandon their own child. If that makes the goddess of law angry, then maybe the goddess is the one who's wrong. Goddess is guilty. Guilty! Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Indeed. To declare a goddess guilty. We're responsible for upholding the law, but at the same time, we are only human. Nobody would hand down a verdict that would sacrifice their own child. Oh, no, Von, uh, Manfred von Karma would throw all the children to the wolves. He'd be like, Francisca, my oldest daughter, the adopted brat that I killed his father for, I'd throw them all to the wolves. I will take a whole orphanage and throw them in a lake. That's what Manfred von, Manfred von Karma would say. He would do it. He would be like, all of them, destroyed. There would be no hesitation. He would follow through. Thank you very much, Miss Faraday, Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, I cannot simply run away from the courtroom. Yeah, you can. Just don't go through this door. Go through that door or another door. Just don't go through that one. It's simple. Simple as that. That's how you run away from it. Done. I just helped you. Oh, damn it. Judge Courtney, so this is where you've been. It appears it's time. Uh. Miss Courtney! My father, he was a prosecutor. Your father? Yes, he stood in court just like you. Well, actually, I sit. I'm a judge. <laughs> and now, with all that has happened, it got me thinking. What if my father had been in the same position as you are now? If a prosecutor was being coerced into obtaining a guilty verdict? I know. My life were on the line, my father. Would definitely come to steal me back. Steal you back? Miss Courtney, why don't you why don't you let us take care of it? What? I'm gonna steal John back from you. That's the second you have to class to I K Faraday, give you my word. So the great thief Vatikarasu plans to see the truth, huh? What say you, Judge Courtney? Will you place your trust in our young great thief? Prosecutor Edgeworth, you, you, you actually believe what she's saying? 
Yeah, I kind of do. She's she does not hesitate. She will steal a lollipop from my pocket. Do you even have a lollipop in my in your pocket? I did, and she stole it. Did you not hear my explanation? I also stole this wallet. God damn it! I also stole his spare cravat. Yo, welcome in complicated box or bix. Complicated bix. Thank you for the follow. We play a lot of random Ace Attorney. We're playing the now only Ace Attorney game that has not been translated. my YouTube streaming part always like lag oh well and if it's all right with you I wish to help as well I also would like to reconnect a child will uno reverse it thank you very much I know that it's really not my place to ask this of you but please do whatever you can. Be safe, John. You got it. Leave everything to us. Allow me to leave you. Leave my cell phone with you. What? Uh, oh my gosh, she got a Mozilla charm. You may get a call from the kidnapper at some point. You have my word. I will ensure the safe return of your phone along with your son. And I would do everything in my power to prolong the trial. But even then, at most, the trial can only last for about two more hours. Two hours, huh? So until 2 p.m. That's our time frame. What is with these weird ass, like, rules and stipulations of this court system? I guess the union is very strict. I must return to court. Miss Farday, Prosecutor Edgeworth, I shall leave the rest to you. Okay. Babish. God, I love case theme. Hey, okay, I thought you were taking a break for being the great thief. As of right now, the great thief Yatagarasu is back in business to kidnap a child. <laughs> Alright, time to put on the gloves and hit the pavement. It's my first request, after all. Is that so? In that case, we'd better begin our investigation post-haste. If we hope to track down Sean... <laughs> Where'd he run off to? You might have just gone back home. That's right. I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to get any filming done today. Or you may have run away. We should probably begin our investigation from the front of the Grand Town. Hey, hold it, Mr. Edgeworth. You're not the one in charge anymore, Beach. From here on out, this is a job for a great thief, which means I'm the leader now. If that's the case, then what am I supposed to do? Mr. Edgeworth, you get to be the first ever Great Thief's assistant. So I'm the Thief's assistant now. Alright. Alright, let's get going. The Great Thief Yatakarasu takes flight once again. Yay! He's like, alright, what am I gonna do? Here we are, the scene of the crime. Let's get to work. Now say it with me, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm, say what? Even in the depths of night. He's like, no. Ah, oh, come on, say the rest with me. And just why should I do that? Because the great thief Yatagarasu has arrived on the scene. Death. 
we don't say the introduction, it does. It just doesn't feel right. I have no intention of becoming a thief. Oh, find it. I'll do it by myself. Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight, one alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's path. And I will emphasize one alone because Mr. Edgeworth is being lame and he doesn't want to say the lines with me. And that one is me, for I am the great thief Yatakurasu. Yes, Kate, I, I know you are. I, on the other hand, am starting the investigation, so... Yeah. You're no fun. We don't have time for fun. We only have until 2 o'clock. We need to begin making inquiries immediately. Good thing we have a photo so we can go right ahead and start asking around. Have you seen this child? No. Damn. Alright, begin investigation. Can I go in here? No. This trailer is used to shuttle actors to and from the film lot. It shuttles the actors. Does that mean galactic trailer ready for launch? Three. Two, one, ignition! Blast off to the speed of, at speed of light. Shower thrusters on full. Rocket bathroom engaged. I would prefer a calm, relaxing bath myself. <gasps> Is this my boy? Long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> sure. <laughs> This is Will Powers. He is an action star I met in a previous case that I tried to throw in jail for murder. <laughs> he also played the role of the Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. It's been a long time. Pleased to meet you. I'm Kay Faraday, a great thief. Some stuff has happened, so now Mr. Edgeworth is my assistant. Nice to meet you, but, uh,. And Mr. Edgeworth is your assistant? I'm confused. Please pay it no heed. More importantly, I'd like to ask you some questions about the case. Uh, okay, I don't know if I'll be much help though. Hmm, he's an actor who has been working with John. He'd be a bit sudden, but let's hear what he has to say. What you know, bish? I heard, I had heard that you were handling the investigation for this case, but... Hmm, well that's... I'm not the prosecutor in charge, so... But if you're the assistant, then does this mean that K is in charge? No, this is just a simple mi You've got a good eye on you. You're completely right. She tripped at the chance. Since I'm in charge here, i like you to answer a few questions post hey, so please be frank. Did anything happen to get I'm Will- I don't care, you're right, Ergo, didn't you notice anything? Who is she trying to imitate? <laughs> trying to imitate you. <laughs> I like how she's trying to use his, his uh, lingo. Be frank, uh, well, I feel sorry for the victim, but I can't help but worry about what will happen with the filming from now on. No, that's only natural, so I would think that filming would be difficult now. I knew it. This is bad. We can only use this location for a little while longer, too. Is the filming almost complete, then? No, but construction will begin here soon, so we won't be able to film here anymore. We're only using this vacant lot until construction begins. So the rest of the movie will be filmed at Global Studios. Things aren't looking good. There's even some people spreading bad rumors. Bad rumors? Lately, a journalist has been coming by repeatedly saying, This film lot's hiding and a real monster, I reckon. There ain't no use hiding it, and stuff like that. <laughs> Powers, how do you look even more Donkey Kong like? <laughs> Welcome in, Kraz. Hello, go. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, the, he does. Will does look, uh more Donkey Kong right now.
Now how are you doing, Kraz? Finally got my webcam fixed. I don't know, were you here last week where I was angry that my shit wasn't working? Oh, is this a Twitch Plays thing? I tried doing that on your channel for a hot minute. Yeah, it was a couple months ago. I was on there. It was like randomly in the middle of the day when I was bored. You know what, Dine? I'm, I'm sorry that I never give you a shout out with the psh. Here you go. I wish I could change the sound for you to be psh. Still playing Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah. I actually just realized well, what, if I did me, what would be my clip? Oh, let's do it. I'm gonna be a little. What the hell? Why don't I get a clip? That is the rudest thing I've ever seen in my life that I don't get a clip. In my own ch- The self on your own channel, on your own Twitch is insane. And let me do it before. I just wanted to see what clip would pop up. What do you mean the self-promotion? Do you not see my name written everywhere on this? One, two, three, four... It's on here at least four times, as if you don't know who I am. <laughs> Damn, Miles, are you on edge? Cause you see more worth of my of my time. I mean, his hair is pretty edgy with his Leonis Kennedy looking ass. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, I couldn't be more self-promoting my channel more if I tried. My name is up here four times. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm really pushing to make sure that you know what my name is. And to make sure that it's spelled correctly, too. I like a lot of it's just spreading rumors. I have a feeling I know. I have a feeling I know who you're talking about. Is your name Parkerson? What the fuck? Yes, was that photographer from before? From before? Oh yeah, he was there during Justice for All, and Lada was there. During the farewell, my turnabout. You're not actually hiding a real monster, are you? So what the fuck I am? Maybe he's got a giant eyeball. And he likes to carry a pipe in his hand. I just realized playing Ace Attorney is a dyslexic person is everyone's worst nightmare. It is! It's terrible. Of course not. If there really was one, I'd be out of a job. Oh, he's probably playing Muzilla. He probably has the- he probably puts the head on and shit. Seems they're putting a lot of work into this movie. That's because this is our first attempt at making a sequel to an old classic. 
Global Studios is pouring their heart and soul into this one. I wish they'd put that much effort into making a new Steel Samurai series. What role are you playing this time, Mr. Powers? I'm playing the mighty Muzilla. Wow, you're the main character? Well, much obliged. I'm wearing a full body costume again, so my face won't be seen this time either. I see, that costume sure is cool though. I want to try wearing it too. I know, how about next time you let me get in the costume? Maybe just the horn part? That's not really possible. You can't get inside the horns. Well, I guess it makes sense. I'm not in the screen actor scale after all. I don't think that's what he means. Of course, uh, if there really was, if there really is, I'd be out of a job. Would probably turn to, of course, if there really was one, I'd be out of a job. Really, not was one, I'd be. Well, fuck! Can't read that. Stop it. Oh yeah, John, talk to me about the child. I would like to ask you some questions about John. About John. Oh, I heard about it from the girl and Steph. How he suddenly vanished from right in front of you guys. I think you turned to trying to read that. I'm actually am dyslexic. With numbers mainly, but it's just like does he do that a lot? I'd say so. During filming breaks, if you even turn your eye took your eyes off him for a moment, he's be gone. He's like poofy. Poor bro went from zero to hundred to fifty. Wait, what shit? There's where no numbers there. Yo, a three and a five and an eight look the same. They're the same number. Fours and nines are the same too. Do you have any ideas where he might have gone? Up your ass. Oh no, but. I ran into him as he was leaving the film lot. What? Really? Where did John go? Saw him get the trailer, but when I was checking the equipment, he was gone again. Trailer, huh? There might still be some traces of him left behind. Sir Pyrus, could you show us the trailer? Sure thing. It's a bit of a mess right now, though. Let's take him up on the software and examine the inside of the trailer. All right, have you seen this child? What can I say? Gives you a good sense of the film lot, doesn't it? The entire cast and crew are all pumped up for this work, even more than usual. Smile the hardships, we're never one else smile. Is there really nice atmosphere? No, this happened. Why does your handkerchief look like a fuck my fucking crap out, dude? Sir, have you seen this child? <laughs> Although there is nothing I can do without the interruption of the filming, if I solve this case, they might be able to resume filming. In that case, there's only one thing for us to do. Get a new child! <laughs> uh. Sir, I need you to help me find a child. My body was wrong. Your face looks so serious. Uh, have you picked up any passengers here today? Oh, I sure did, but it was only one group. What did they look like? It was a pair of men. They were both wearing black. Aw, oh, shit, the men in black are here! God damn it. Not only are there kidnapping dead presidents, now there's aliens. Shit. <laughs> no, she's not my affair. What the fuck? She's presumably 19. What the fuck are you calling her childish? <laughs> this is some bullshit. We got some aliens now. <laughs> Men in black are in town. Did you happen to see a small boy with them? Here's a picture of him. That's a big child. It's not the monster, you idiot. It's the one in the middle. 
Nope, it was just the two guys. I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. I was hoping he would have some more information for us. But I guess not. Two men. <sighs> Alright. Hello. Thank you for your hard work, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Hmm? I'm not a prosecutor at the moment, but I'll keep quiet about that for now. Thank you, what are you doing here? Sir, I'm on guard duty. Then, could you tell me about the cars that have passed through here today? The only ones that come came through here were that taxi and that blue truck. So, two different vehicles came through this place. This is valuable information. Okay. Thanks. Move. Move! Hey, John! Hmm, guess he's not here. This basket looked pretty suspicious to me, but it certainly does. Huh? What's wrong, Mr. Edgeward? Why are you touching the truck? I was told that I should feel up vehicles more often. <laughs> the truck's body is cold to the touch. It seems to have been parked here for some time. You can figure all that out by just touching it? Concerning the length of time it's been parked here, the driver must not be nearby. <laughs> Why are you touching the step truck, bro? <laughs> I suppose we won't be able to ask them any questions till they return. I what do you want, Tamagotchi? I got a freaking Anya Tamagotchi from Spike's family and, and it always beeps at me. She always wants some peanuts, this bitch. It's all related, Edgeward. Maybe it went through the snow like the snowmobile. Out of my way. Can I go through here? Can I go through here? Alright, let's go through the trailer, I guess. About John's seat. Uh, it's over there where the that backpack is sitting. Mm -hmm. Something is sticky on the bag. This is a tape. Ah, oh, I swear, Miss Courtney, the president's sex tape. Ah! Oh, it's a tape for filming. Oh, thank God. Why does John have one? Did he film something? Oh no. Ha! <sighs> ah. Ha! Ah. He's too young for OnlyFans. He's just a child. <laughs> Only teens. Is there any way to check its contents? <laughs> we have a monitor to look over the footage that was filmed. You can use that. Now done, let's see what's on the tape. <laughs> this is a taste of this for justice. Roll case for some evidence image and all. How did this game? <laughs> No, it's just fucking John Doe murdering fucking Juan. No. Look at me! I'm practicing for only teens! <laughs> this is, it looks like when John was practicing. John was practicing by himself. The monster's footprints can be seen as well, so this must have been recorded last night. He does that sometimes. He just likes to record my monster footprints. <laughs> Only teens would probably blow up. <laughs> That's so sad. It would. It's so sad. There's a lot of sick fucks out there. <laughs> There would be only cats, only pups, only grams, <laughs> only feats. <laughs> Man. 
Man, my YouTube is just being really dumb today. When he's not happy with his performance, he'll sneak onto the set to practice by himself. Especially by giant monster feet. Wow, he really is hardworking. Sure is, although he's young. He's a real pro. He never rests until he's satisfied. Then again, I can't say that I approve of him using the equipment without asking. Oh, now he's gonna kick his ass. Damn it. Sean is able to operate the equipment all by himself? More or less, if it's just basic filming. Huh? Ooh, what's wrong? Why Why isn't Joan on the screen anymore? I think he ran off somewhere just a few seconds before this. Did he go somewhere while the camera was still recording? He just seen the president, like, die! <laughs> Teddy Ben's here. It looks like this was all that was recorded. No one else was on camera except for John. What the fuck? Kane did that really slow turn to me. That was scary. Okay. What do you mean? Not exactly a shining example of the perfect line of logic. What do you mean? It was perfect. You dum dum. All right. Fine. Please be the map of the area around Grand Tower. Let's take a look. Oh, the Sunshine Coliseum. I can't wait to deal with that in Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. <laughs> Sunshine Coliseum is a place where all sorts of special events are held. I've always wanted to go to the World Thief Expo, but it was cancelled this year. I heard that it's a huge event where all the greatest thieves from around the world gather. But last year, everyone who went got arrested. Turns out it was just a trap set up by the police to catch the thieves. And even knowing that, you still want to go? I never really cared much for that sort of thing. Or the ultraviolet rays from the sun could cause burn marks on your skin. Okay, what in the world are you talking about? Come on, I'm talking about the Rising Sun Park, of course. I like to bask in that sentiment while I watch the sun rise in the park. Dusk Waste Management. Do they help you manage your wasteful spending? No, this is where the garbage trucks bring all the combustible waste they've collected. By the way, Kay, why are you so fidgety? It's nothing. More importantly, well, there's another waste center on the top right corner of the map. Since they're separate facilities, they probably handle different kinds of waste. Although, there does seem to be a lot of waste management facilities around here. Oh, oh, I think I know why. I bet they're always collecting garbage from dusk till dawn. Were you so fishy because you were waiting for a chance to say that? Dude, that's a great pun. Bravo, okay. Bravo. I love her. Dawning Street, Sunset Avenue. Earl, Earl, Earl Bright City Hall. What kind of- who names these streets? Hmm, seems the harbor and the waste center are quite close to each other. Alright, who's dumping the waste in our water supply? Maybe that's where they dispose of all the garbage that comes floating in from the ocean. Perhaps they do, but I'm sure they also do with other types of waste as well. Other types of waste? Uh, you don't mean shells and fish bones, do you? You can't just throw away the fish and shells you catch from the sea like garbage. 
You gotta recycle them. Make them into jewelry and stuff. Okay. Let's talk about this matter some other time. Oh, okay. This is the Grand Tower. It's where we are right now. It's a nice building, but I can't say I'm a fan. Can't blame her. It wouldn't be strange if she never wanted to set foot in the tower again. Mr. Edgeware, if once we discover the truth and completely solve this case, can we come here again just to sightsee? And we can bring Gummy along with us too. Never letting the, the past hold you back and always looking forward. That's just like you. Fortunately, Kay, we aren't quite finished here yet. There's so much left to solve. It's too early to be making plans for the future. Hmm, I guess so. Well then, let's hurry up and solve it. Okay, well what else am I supposed to be like looking for? Am I supposed to look at anything else or or am I done? I guess I'm done. Alright, whatever. Can I like go through here or well, what else am I looking for? Pieces of film equipment have been placed here. Are you filming today? No, we had to stop filming for today. Since a box had disappeared. A box? What is he talking about? Yeah, there was some equipment in that box. I took my eyes off of it for a few seconds and look what happens. Well, why would you leave thousands of dollars of equipment just in a box in the middle of the street? Of course it's gonna get stolen, you dumbass. So, there's a thief among us, trying to steal my job. Very sus. Exactly what was stolen. Not much, actually. Just a box has been- Oh, just an actual box. Okay? <laughs> oh, that's where they put the child. <laughs> it's a child sh like a perfect sized box for a child. Okay. Damn. That's pretty messed up. Why would someone steal a box? Personally, I would have taken the stuff inside. They probably wanted the box more than whatever was inside it. Did they plan to put something inside the box? More like someone. <laughs> it was already half past 12. Twelve. Yo, that that dial did not move at all when I was running around. Time was still. I wonder how Miss Courtney and the others are holding up. How long will they be able to prolong the trial? We gotta hurry and find John. Indeed. Oh heck no! That that ain't how it's done. Y'all ain't gonna catch a scoop like that. Sorry, sorry, chief. What am I always telling you? Way of bite scoop eating animals. It's scoop a star of no story, no glory. Y'all gotta get fired up. Yes, sir, it's expected of my mentor. They're here. It's those noisy reporters. Hey, they came here too. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's go talk to him. Good grief. If we must... If only I could walk backwards in this game, like in Resident Evil 2. Be like, look at my ass, look at my ass. Damn it. I can't. It's terrible. If it ain't Mr. Edgeworth, so we meet again. Miss Swift, why are you here? You were set up as a suspect for murder. Still, your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You still have to submit to police. You will have to submit to police questioning later. You should know that there is still a possibility you may be charged with some crime. For some reason, I 
questioning what stopped all of a sudden. After a while, they just let me out and told me I could get go home scot-free. It must be some kind of message saying I need to keep on doing my best out there, I reckon. <clears throat> well, they did give me a pretty sudden warning not to reveal anything about the case. If the official statement released to the public about the assassination attempt. Miss Swift was not involved, that must have been the reason why they let her go. But Mr. Edgeworth, attempting to silence Nicole like this, it's like trying to plug a leaky dam with your bare hands. Hmm, she was quick to say something so harsh. I quickly put together the full details of everything I knew about the case. Sprinkled in with in some of my own dram dramatizations, I brought the prodigal to a pu into a publisher. But for some reason, I haven't gotten any replies yet. Were they pressured to keep quiet, or were her dramatizations simply too much? Both are probable, so I'm not sure which is true. What information were you trying to collect here at the Grand Tower? Miss Ashworth, y'all still don't get it, do ya? If you want to ask a reporter a question, you gotta give her some advice. Do you mean information that can be used in an article? A bingo! Give me some info that'll make for a good article. If y'all ain't got something like that, I guess we won't be talking. I also need some information about John. Let's show her that piece of evidence and try asking her about him. Alright. Sir, have you seen this child? Miss Swift, I'm sorry, but about this photo... Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, I know exactly what's going on. Mm -mm. What do you mean? Especially for him, I you? That boy. What? Things are so pretty tough for you, I say. Miles Edgeworth, the man of crime. Wherever he goes, dead bodies are sure to follow. Or something like that. That's a terrible reputation to have, but pretty fucking accurate. Damn. Oh, what about this time there'd be a kidnapping incident? What? How'd you know that? <laughs> Could you keep it down a little? This material's top secret. I ain't even told my mentor about it. I can hear you cause you loud as hell. She still does know I'm right next to you. Y'all y'all keep gotta keep it a secret from me. If she finds out, I'll be a goner. I already know all about it. Why do you know? Judge Courtney should have only told us. <laughs> I ain't telling that to anyone. Not even you, Mr. Prosecutor. Seems this reporter still hasn't learned her lesson. Uh, y'all can give me the stink eye all you want. I still ain't telling. Alright, so I'm gonna have to stab you in the tit. D do you know something about it? Truth is... I done saw it myself. You saw a child get kidnapped and you didn't call the popo? Are you fucking serious? A boy being taken away by a couple of men in black. Just cause he's dressed like that doesn't mean he's an alien. Dude! The men in black are kidnapping fake aliens. Their reputation's going down the toilet. Oh, man. Mm, terrible. What? Where'd he go? That, I don't know. They were too far away, so I lost sight of them. Darn it. But at least we know that the criminal, what the criminals look like. Yes, a pair of men in black.
Now, what do you know about this truck? Alright. Lotta, what do you know? What do you want? Well, are you snooping around again? That's my horn! Did Miss Swift call you her mentor just now? She sure did. Nicola's my number one pupil. She says she fell in love with my, the photos from my scoops. Even if our jobs are different, our passion for scoops is the same, let me tell you. Ever since then, she's been a cute like, all cute like all me stood, like master and chief. So she fell in love with Miss Hart's photos. Guess you can say, like teacher, like student. She still got a ways to go in gathering information, but her patience a match for mine. Seems like she was trying to catch the scoop about Mozilla's appearance. She's been circling around these parts all day long. Circling around this area. Maybe she witnessed the kidnapping. Mr. Edgeworth, looks like we'll need to hear what she has to say. Indeed, we need more information about John. Let's show Miss Swift a piece of evidence and ask her about it. Sir, have you seen this child? Let me just say, if you're trying to grab my interest, y'all better bring me something that actually smells like a scoop. I guess this is gonna catch your interest. Alright. Hi, he is prosecuted. I'm telling you now, the Mali Mozilla is mine. I'm gonna go over this place with a fine tooth comb and find me every last clue. I won't even I won't miss even a single strain of fallen hair, not to mention its footprints. Fallen hair? You're you were searching for something like that? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, it's fine. You you don't need to worry yet. Your father had a full head of hair after all. Everyone's hair falls out a little bit at some point. Please have some more confidence. I wasn't worried about about that? Why is she trying to cheer me up about it? What the fu- What? Now that the black market auctions are over, what are you aiming for next? Ain't it obvious? I'm out of Mozilla. I ain't. I'm going after Mozilla. Who'd have thunk that while I was st stuck? Psyching out the black market auction at the Grand Tower, the Mighty Mozilla's footprints would show up right next to the tower. Is there really a place like that? Is there really a place that would publish a story like that? I swear, there has to be an equivalent to the Global Inquirer. Don't treat me like a fool. I've got one or two valued clients lined up. Actually, there's a newspaper company here at the Grand Tower. Me and Nicole go there all the time. Do you, like, threaten to beat them up if they don't buy your shit? Well, we always get turned away at the door, but still. I wouldn't exactly call that a valued client. Alright. Alright, let's, let's talk logic over here. We've now collected some testimony regarding the culprits. Miss Swift says she all saw two men slip away with John. Furthermore, the taxi driver says he picked up two men in his taxi. They must be the same guys. Seems likely. However, there's still a problem. According to the taxi driver, the two men were alone. John wasn't with them. Yeah, you're right. That is a problem. That's why he was in the box. What if the kidnappers stole the box? Uh, you mean they... Exactly, they took it in order to carry John inside it. John's a tiny kid, after all. Then, the reason the taxi driver didn't see John was because... It's likely he was put in the trunk as the kidnapper's luggage. But why did they need to go through all the trouble of hiding him? First, the kidnappers must have intended to abduct him without being seen. However, they didn't anticipate all the policemen in the plaza. 
Ah, I see. If they tried to just walk away with him, they would have been spotted. Just the mere presence of policemen would have been a sizable threat. I get it. In that case, we've got to ask the taxi driver. Did the two men you told us about earlier have any luggage with them? Yeah, they stuffed a huge box into the trunk. And that's that. Those guys must be the kidnappers. Do you remember where you took those men? Sounds to me like something serious has gone down here. If you like, I could take you to the same place I took them. Let's do it, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, thank you for your help. No problem. Just leave it to me. This ride is free, right? Oh my god, Speed Racer. Tokyo drifting up in this beach. Where are we? He's just, he's like part of the kidnapping ring. Uh, that taxi drove way too fast. I don't feel too good. Please don't throw up on me. Sir Edgeworth, are you alright? Your face is really pale. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe it's just headcanon that all the people in Ace Attorney just get us <laughs> car sick for bad drivers. <laughs> also, that's Apollo's line. The driver said they came to this house's garage. This must be where those two men brought the box. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, look at the nameplate on the door. Nameplate? What? Blaze the best? So this is the chairman's house? Does that mean the wood who kidnapped John was Blaze the best? Blaze should have already been arrested though. Uh, the garage door is unlocked. You really do have a good eye for this sort of shit. Alright, let's, let's just open this. Pop it open. Wh why does he have a cool ass motorcycle? Why does he have a shovel? I mean, I guess it's not uncommon for people to have a shovel in their driveway or in their garage for gardening. But he has like a whole ass sledgehammer? Is, this, is that a boomerang? Dude! <laughs> smells like motor oil. Maintaining that motorcycle must be Blaze's hobby. Dude! <laughs> if I had a nickel for every prosecutor that drives a motorcycle, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's odd that it's happened twice. So, Clavier and, and Blaze. They both ride a motorcycle. <laughs> So feckin' weird. Excuse me, we're coming in. Anybody home? He just has his place booby trapped like fucking home alone. <laughs> Paint cans just start flying at me. Doing something like this. It's as if we're a couple of petty thieves. Shh, be quiet! No more great thieves! You just said we're coming in. You're just you're shouting in there like we're coming in. Bye, hello. Anybody home? Oh, great thieves don't do that, okay? Have some self awareness. Oh, what? Uh, you're on the talk. She scolded me. Nobody's here for now. It looks like we can get through this without being arrested. This isn't time to be relieved. Now, the, now the real deal begins. Let's go look for treasure, aka the child. We're looking for John, not treasure. Yes, the child treasure. Hopefully he's encrusted in diamonds. Wow, this bike is so cool. Look at that, it has a skull for a headlight. The fuck is he, Ghost Rider? Hmm, seems the eyes light up when you turn on the headlights. Ooh, well, I'm sure it's eyes don't glare as well as yours, Mr. Edgeworth. My eyes don't actually emit light when I glare, though. So you admit that you glare? I found something good. Why does this glow the fingers say death? These are mechanics gloves. 
Be aware that your vehicle maintenance or when you're working with machinery. They look really stained with motor oil. However, they are also horribly stained with dirt. Oops, my bad. Could the gloves have gotten destroyed from just maintaining the bike? Hmm. I don't really like Blaze, but these gloves are pretty cool. Do you think we can come up with some reason to take these with us? When you say it like that, it makes it hard for me to take them as evidence. You know, by the third Ace Attorney game, when you took evidence like from the ground or from a shelf, they disappeared. You would think for investigations too, they would be taken. Because uh, with the first Ace Attorney game, the stuff was still on the ground. Justice for All it was still on the ground or whatever. Trials and Tribulations, when you investigated something on the ground or on the shelf, it disappeared. That was a cool touch. I don't remember by Apollo Justice Ace Attorney if it still did that. And I didn't get so far in Dual Destinies to recall if um, it continued doing that. I have no idea. But you would think for me picking up these gloves. Because this game came out in, what, 2011, 2012? Or is it, yeah. That it would have continued to do that, but I guess not. Maybe it was a different development team. And they had different resources. They could have been going off a different engine. Or the similar engine as like Justice for All. And not the same one of, like Apollo Justice because it was a different thing. I don't know. This large box, this must be it. It's probably the box that Mr. Power said had to be stolen. So John was stashed in this box and then transported all the way here. Please don't talk about people as if they are objects. However, if that's the case. There's also a possibility that John is still somewhere in this garage. Okay, let's go look for him. Our honor is the great thief and her assistant depend on it. Good grief. There are large tools hanging on the wall, such as a sledgehammer and a shovel. It's a lot bigger than the gavel Miss Courtney carries around. If I ever become a judge, I'd want my gavel to be this big. Swinging such a huge gavel in the court would be intolerable. Please don't. Nah. I'll just swing the shovel that's beneath it instead. That is no business being swung court or elsewhere. Please don't. Why are things thumping? I did not realize we we're playing Resident Evil today. Hmm. There's someone inside. <gasps> Is it Sean? Sean, we're coming to save you. Eh? This is. You're. Sebastian! Oh, he looks so sad! What? Why? No! No! This is Blaze's house, right? That would mean. Yes, it should also be Sebastian's house. So, why is he. Okay, go help him out. Remember, I don't do that. If it has to do with ropes, just leave it to Kay. I'm a little concerned. Oh, I'm really good with bondage. What? Here I go, a little pull over here and a quick tug over there. Are you alright, Sebastian? <laughs> he looks a little worse for wear. Why are you tied up in a place like this? How should I know? You guys don't know anything about me. It's because we don't know. That's why we're 
asking you. He's completely shut off his heart. Objection! Nuh-uh. The fuck you mean, nuh-uh? <clears throat> Indeed. If it's come to this, I suppose I have no choice but to use that. Oh, we're going back to the chest dimension. Uh, you mean... I hate to do this when he's in such a fragile state. It's like kicking a man who's down. But luckily he's a teenager, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Will it be alright? His mind might break if you corner him too much, you know. Yes, I'm aware of that. I will try to be careful. Lies. I will break this child. Shocker. <laughs> to the chest dimension. I'll chase you to the ends of your mind. Good grief. I wonder how this will turn out. Alright, Charlie Brown. God damn. I've never held back against anyone before. What was if I use all the bad options? <laughs> I'm lo <laughs> I heard his options are funny. After running out of the meeting room this morning, why would he be here of all places? Because he was obviously tied up! <laughs> Can't wait for you to fumble. You guys, you don't know how I feel. I know you feel like a little bitch right now. Oh my god, why do you have five? <laughs> He's gone through a lot of shock. He must be on the verge of emotional meltdown. Can't be helped. Times like this, I must quietly listen to what he has to say. No one tells me anything. I'm always... The one being left out like an idiot! Hmm, I should try to answer his questions as best as I can. Considering how fragile he is, I won't have much time to spare. I'll need to ask about his true feelings and try to calm him down post haste. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh. Oh, welcome to the stream. Out of town bumpkin? Or bump? You're a failure of a person. Oh yeah, that is one of the options, isn't it, Chris? Oh shit! Why did you suck the one that was clearly right? Because it, I panicked! I mean, I can, I can restart it. Reset. Wait, why is my element thing not working? Oh, did my three month thing for stream elements run out? Damn it. I think it would be really funny if you just will pro down there before actually getting to the truth. Sebastian. Hmm. Seeing how fragile he is, alright. Alright, logic chess begin. Your failure as a person. <laughs> <That's t> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I don't want to about to do sand. That's my cup of content. All right. I already saved before this, so I I do want to see these like bad options. You're a failure as a person. From what I've seen these past few days, you have uh, absolutely no redeeming qualities. <laughs> Perhaps you should try starting over again as a human being. <laughs> Calm down, I'm not finished <laughs> No way, I'm never gonna listen to you or anyone else again! I just said the one thing that I shouldn't have said. <laughs> you just leave me alone already. I, I can't trust anyone anymore. C confound it. <laughs> Bro, he got not finished. What an instant fail. <laughs> I didn't realize it was an instant fail. This is the last time I listened to you. <laughs> Alright, back to the chest mention. <laughs> it would still be really funny though. <laughs> Alright. He said so he had funny fail dialogues. He did, but I didn't know it was gonna be instant fail. Like, is it gonna be instant fail every time? Could you please tell me what's on your mind? I- I don't wanna! It's not like you'd listen to me anyways. That's right, I never listen to you. I can pretend to listen! <laughs> Imagine Edward just softens him up and then says, Kill yourself, low tier god style, god damn. Bro. The content demands the first <laughs> That's right, I never listened to you. Do you understand? You have been cornered. Uh, please stop it already. Just leave me alone already. I, I can't trust anyone anymore. Chris says, I if I make any pointless rights, this mind will break. Oh, okay. Even so, he's someone who cries easily. Whether he's feeling down or he's losing his temper, he'll be crying either way, so I won't be able to tell the difference. Oh, okay. Finally, only a minor penalty. I can pretend to listen. Do you under Oh, it's the same li line. Alright. Okay. I just want to be able to have more time. Alright. Pretending to listen is a. S I mean, it happens a lot more than people think. Yeah, I mean, people pretend to listen to me during the stream all the time. you please tell me what's on your mind? I don't wanna. It's not like you'd listen to me anyways. Alright. Uh, oh, that's wrong. Normally you'd be shouting ejection right about now. <laughs> Objection! Do you understand? Oh.
Yo, Firefly. Welcome in. I got my webcam to work. Alright, Sebastian told me to tell him objection, so... I guess we'll just do the wait and see. You're serious? Y you're really gonna listen to what I have to say? I can understand the shock you went through after what happened with your father. It wasn't just Pops. Sporting, I, I lost everything. Oh. I know you didn't lose your V-card, I can tell you that. You're a human corp. <laughs> Do you understand you've been- You have been pursued cornered Phoenix Friday's attorney. <laughs> Let's shout out Firefly. Yeah. Insane game. Oh, I forgot people are playing uh, Dragon's Dogma too. Oh yeah. Uh, he lost everything. Oh, you poor baby! <laughs> Do you understand? I think he's just gonna keep saying you've been cornered by choose uh, bad options. Okay. Are you serious? I'd do all that again. Everything I have was given to me by Pops. Tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what am I supposed to believe in? Believe in yourself. Believe in the heart of the cards! Oh, and now you're ignoring me? You just came to laugh at me, didn't you? G calm down, it seems I waited a little too long. Oh, now I waited too long. Maybe someone, someone that cry- Oh, you fucker. Believe in your believe in the heart of the cards. If you can't believe in others, then at least believe in yourself. You'll need to gain experience on your own. But if you require wisdom, I can lend you a hand. Uh, ever since I got locked up, I've been thinking about being on the bench. Am I too inculpable to be a prosecutor? Uh, a capable? Uh, which one is it? I believe incapable is the word you are looking for. Judging your own ability is not an easy task. Sebastian, little by little, you are growing. <sighs> Oh, you poor baby has to have funny dialogue. I don't know. It seems like all the things I'm choosing has I have you cornered and it doesn't... Sebastian, would you tell me your side of the story? I, I understand. What should I talk about? Hmm, he seems to have calmed down slightly. I'd like you to tell me everything you know about the kidnappers. Uh, 
Edgeworth. I thought we were managing this child, not raising his confidence. Now then, tell me what you heard and saw. Why were you tied up in your own home? Why were you tied up in your own home of all places? That's what I'd like to know. I'm the victim here. Why would I know? I was really scared being locked up alone, you know. Hmm. Did your abductors happen to say anything to you? I don't really get it, but one of them said, Don't blame us. Blame the owner of this house. The owner of this house, wouldn't that be Blaze the best? Ow. Huh? <laughs> Pops. Huh? I, I get it. Someone who hates Pops must have taken me hostage. No, considering the situation, that seems unlikely. The connection between Blaze and the kidnappers, this could be a useful clue. Do you know what the kidnapper, kidnapper's objective was? What are you saying? What else would a kidnapper want besides a ransom? I don't have enough clues to proceed. Okay. Kidnappers, sure. Kidnappers. Do you have any idea who the kidnapper could be? Uh, of course I don't. If I did, I would have told you already. Let me try using that clue. A kidnapper can easily use his own home to hold someone captive. Sebastian, you were kidnapped by your own father. Aww. Uh -oh. ah. It can't be. Was he going to kill me because I was a nuisance? Um, I mean, he killed your mom, so... Maybe. <laughs> oh, and now you're adoring me. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it. Of course not. Would there be any reason for him to take your life? If a son were found, was found dead in his own garage, Blaze would have be suspected immediately. I see. Uh, then why was I kidnapped? Kidnapping his own son. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be after any ransom money. There must be some other reason why Blaze ordered the kidnapping. This could be a useful clue. Do you know? Blah blah blah. Blaze had another objective. Objection! Objective! Can I bring his own son in order to demand a ransom? Wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, you're right. Do you? Did you notice anything strange when you got kidnapped? Oh, as soon as I answered their question, they just took me away. What did they ask you? They asked you a question. Tell me what they asked you. Uh, don't glare at me like that. Um, I think they asked me, do you know Courtney? I see. The pieces of the puzzle are starting to fall into place. Blaze and the kidnappers did not intend to kidnap you. Their objective was John Marsh. They're, they were planning to kidnap George Courtney's son. Or to have Patricia Rowland declared not guilty. J Justine has a son, and Warden Rowland gets declared not guilty? I suspect the kidnappers mistook you for John Marsh. Uh, 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 this was uh, just a mistake? Wait, maybe that's why back then. Hmm? Did you just remember something? D no, it's nothing. I I'm useless, anyways. Just leave me alone already. This is bad, he might be at his emotional limit. 
must get him to tell me what he remembered. He tried to calm him down. Calm the titties. Based on how distressed Sebastian looks right now, I have to save. We have to save. Thanks. You must have been quite traumatic. I'll need to help him get back on his feet. What did you remember? Remember who you are, Simba. <laughs> I, I didn't remember Jack shit about po that guy. Poe. Who's Poe? You're a bitch, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You're crying. I don't want to say this when you're crying. I can't. God, you are such a little shit. Sebastian, goodness gracious. What do you remember? <clears throat> About me? No, oh, fuck. Oh, he said about pee, about pops. You know, I should have fucking realized that. I'm stupid, but that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's not, but it's okay. What do you remember? Click, 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 click. Would that guy happen to be Blaze? Darn it! Oh, so this is the difference between me and someone who earned his prosecutor title. I've been wanting to ask you, why did you become a prosecutor? Why? What does it matter? I'm not fit to be a prosecutor anyways. It fits me quite well. <laughs> S say something! You must have some reason for choosing this path, right? It, no, it's not like that. I, it wasn't anything special. I became a prosecutor for a really insignificant reason. It was just a personal reason. <laughs> just like you, I too became a prosecutor for a personal reason. Huh? Is that true? But but you're a really successful prosecutor. I'm sure that Pops, the PIC chairman, would have been more proud of you than me. You wanted your father's approval. See, so you wanted your father's approval. Oh, I thought that if I became the best prosecutor, he'd be proud of me. That's why I I just wanted to help the, out Pops as much as I could. Would you happen to be protecting your father? Well, I, I don't have any reason to protect someone like him. Didn't you want to help out your father as much as you could? Uh... Just once. I only wanted to be useful to Pops. Just this once. That way I could help him regain his rep repetition. You seem to be mixing up your words again. The word you're looking for is reputation. Eh, eh, no, no one's ever told me that before. Your father, who has strayed from his path, continues to add to his crimes. Even knowing that, do you truly want things to stay the way they are? But in that case, just what am I supposed to do? You should triumph over your father who has treated you like a fool. 
You must stop Blaze before he commits another crime. I, I never thought of it that way. I, I want to triumph over Paps. Somehow it seems he has calmed down once again. Now's my chance to ask him about Blaze's secret. Alright. I will give Sebastian the courage to stand up to his father. Oh, Crow Charge was an accomplice! <laughs> it seems that the evidence regarding Patricia, Patricia Rowland never made it to trial. It's the duty of a prosecutor to watch over the evidence. Did you take care of it properly? That's not it. Just listen to what I have to say. You listen to what I have to say! <laughs> I thought I would keep it in the safest place I knew. In my pants. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? I don't have enough clues. Maybe I should try another line. Was there some connection between your father and Patricia Rowland? I I'm sorry, I don't really know. Every tiny bit helps. Can you remember anything at all? Uh, I think sometimes they would interact with each other during work, but... But, is there something else on your mind? Apparently, Pops is the one who recommended Roland to be the warden. Oh, was there a reason for Blaze to recommend her? Probably because, unlike me, Pops actually cares about her. Nobody likes you at all! <laughs> well, Pops has known her since he first became the chief prosecutor, after all. What was he like when he was the chief prosecutor? Oh, Pops was amazing. He'd look over every single piece of evidence that went through the prosecutor's office. Looked over every single piece of evidence. This could be a major clue. It seems that the evidence, okay, blah blah blah. Wait, see. Hmm. It's gonna be I suppose I should lend him a hand. Did you give the evidence to Blaze? The place you thought would be the safest, would that have been in Blaze the best hands? Uh, well, he told me that it would be safer if he took care of the evidence. I'm sorry, but he has betrayed your trust in the worst way possible. Pops, why would you want to hide the evidence? Blaze's objective was to have Warden Roland found not guilty by obscuring the truth. Sebastian, you were used by your father. Uh, uh. It's possible that Blaze de Best has the evidence with him. Furthermore, we still have no idea where John is. I must return to my investigation post haste, however. This... this is all my fault. What am I gonna do now? Seeing him like this, I just can't... I can't just leave him be. He's still suffering in the gap between his ideal and identity in reality. He will never move on until he figures out how to live his own life. Sebastian is about to face his greatest trial. Perhaps this is fate. She'll give him the push forward that he needs. Oh dear. Oh, well, will you continue to be a prosecutor? You so intend to continue as a prosecutor. I don't really know. It's not like I became a prosecutor on my own. Because of that, do I even have the right to continue being a prosecutor? Whether or not you continue as a prosecutor is something you must decide for yourself. Ah. Only you could determine your path in life. I don't want to stop being a prosecutor. Because if I give up now, I know I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. So he wants to continue to live as a prosecutor. She'll keep his will in mind. 
Oh, I already did this one. It went down too fast. Will you continue to ignore the truth just like your father? Please, stop it already. I don't want your putty. Just leave me alone. Isn't pity two T's? I believe pity is the word you're looking for. Oh no, it's one T. Oh, really? I also have my own reasons for wanting to speak with you. There was a time when I, too, did not seek the truth and continued to run away from it. However, thanks to a certain friend, I was able to realize my mistake. It was this guy. <laughs> Ignore the sweat. He does it a lot. That's nice. You're lucky, Mr. Edgeworth. I don't have anyone like that. <laughs> you may be right about that. If you have the courage to stand up, I will show you the way. Eh? What? Only if you have the will for it, though. I I don't want to be like Pops. So he wants to suppress his own father. I understand his feelings clearly now. Sebastian says that he wants to surpass his father and continue to be a prosecutor. In other words, he wants to be a different prosecutor from his father. Alright, thank you for the redundancy there. So first answer, he's arrived at it on his own. I'm sure if he has the will, he'll find his way. Now what are you going to do now? What do you plan to do from here on? F first, I'm returning this red jacket. I'm not fit to wear it. Clothes fake the van. I think that's what Pops used to say. He knew all along I was a fake. <laughs> would look <laughs> it's not fake the saying is close make the man you are what you wear thank you mr. Edgeworth I've learned something new yet again yes all you have to do now is become a prosecutor who is fit to wear that jacket yeah I'll do my best that way no one will ever make fun of me again you're getting too full of yourself. But how can I get people to accept me? What do I do? I, I don't know what to do. For goodness sake, don't you remember your own words? Perhaps his own will can show him the way. As a prosecutor, didn't you want to walk a different path from your father? Certainly, the path you have chosen is not an easy one. Nevertheless, you still chose to live as a prosecutor. In that case, it should be clear to you what you need to do. Slap. I still question how I live my life to this day. But you, Sebastian, have found your own answer. So believe in yourself. Believe in the heart of the cards. Believe in the heart of the balls. Prosecutor de best. I, I, uh... He was mistaken for John and kidnapped by Blaze's underlings. After his father stole his evidence, he lost his confidence as a prosecutor. The emotions he is going through must be more painful than anything I could imagine. Oh no, you watched your dad get like murdered in front of you that was pretty traumatic I uh, you guys got different levels of emotional abuse there and you were emotionally abused and possibly physically abused by Manfred von Karma growing up uh, I want to say you guys are on some equal playing fields here of mentally It's taken longer than I thought, but with that, it's checkmate. Logic chest complete. I like that little fucking sound effect. Uh, 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 darn it! 
Wow, Mr. Edgeworth, you have him in a fetal position on the ground, crying. Oh, yeah, I do that from time to time. What do you mean? Well, when there's an earthquake, that happens quite some time. Oh, and if I'm ever on an elevator. Oh, that's why you were freaking out that one day when we were on the Grand Tower. Yeah, yeah, we don't fucking talk about that. He, he dashed out of here at full speed. Seems that there's one thing he's the best at, it's running away. Oh, there's a certificate on the wall for the best stasher. He got a world record. 0 0.5 seconds. Shit. <laughs> Curses. We're running out of time. We should check in with Mr. Shields. I'd also like to know what the situation is like on the other end. But Mr. DeBest ran off again. I'll just give them the new information we discovered. Francesca will take his place. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be enough. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the fall stay to Monday. Welcome in. Yep, we like to play Ace Attorney, Resident Evil, you know, all the good stuff. Play some Pal World on occasion, if I remember. Hopefully I'll... Yeah. Actually, what I really want to do is I want to play Alone in the Dark. Like, I'm actually very excited for this one. I've been trying to play the classic Alone in the Dark, but I can't get it to work on Steam. I also bought the shitty reboot that nobody likes, but this Alone in the Dark... It looks so good. People like it. I'm excited. We're gonna play it on stream. So I think maybe after Ace Attorney Investigations 2, we'll probably take a break from Ace Attorney for a hot minute and play Alone in the Dark. Just so we can rinse our palate a little bit. Give it a little break before we get into Apollo Justice Trilogy. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's reasonable. Can't be helped. Since he ran away, there's nothing more we can do. Alright, let's call 911. Um, um, I guess I'll just say it again. Like, what have they been doing for like a couple of hours? Like, that'd be so funny if like they're just like. He's like playing like. It's like spitting plates. Francesca's like dancing. <laughs> if there's no murder weapon, you can't prove the defendant is guilty. Just because we don't have the murder weapon doesn't mean the defendant is innocent. It seems you wish to taste the sting of my whip. God! Mr. Attorney, this trial, how much longer will it take? Because it feels like it hasn't gone anywhere at all for a good while now. Well, sorry, but that stubborn prosecutor over there just doesn't seem to understand. Until I am satisfied. 
This whip will I shout at you as many times as I see fit. By now, she's probably with me once for every year I've been alive. Miles, what's taking you so long? Even though we're just stalling for time, we'll great. Can't keep this up much longer. What? Excuse me, phone call mind if I take this. I will allow it. Hey, what up? Mr. Shields? Oh, Miles, thank God it's you. How's it going over there? Found Sebastian. Oh, and the knife and chisel. It seems he handed the evidence over to Blaze the best. It's very likely that Blaze knows with the whereabouts of the murder weapon. Ex-chairman the best, but why would Blaze? That I don't know yet. However, there may be some hidden connection between Patricia Rowland and Blaze. Gotcha, gotcha. In that case, I'll issue a subpoena for Blaze to best right away. I'll grill him personally. I will continue to search for the missing evidence and for John as well. Alright, hurry up, will ya? Your sister is whipping me to high hell. What our wits end over here? It feels like the verdict could be handed down any moment. Just in. How much longer can Judge Courtney's heart hold out? I know she's in a lot of pain. Gotta hurry. So, how's the trial going? Blaze will be taking the stand. I don't know how things will turn out, though. He'll do anything from hiding evidence to kidnapping. He really is nothing but trouble. I agree. We should probably take another look at the evidence concerning him. Alright, leave it to me. First, here's the latest evidence fresh from the scene. They're the gloves from earlier, although I'm certain i curious about them. Anything else? Uh, the case files from the IS-7 incident, if I recall, Blaze was also involved in this, right? Indeed, he was involved in destroying the evidence. For now, let's keep this on hand. Now then, is there anything else? Of course, last but not least, we've got this. This is the Yatagarasu's badge. Okay. We'll talk about things related to Blaze. Please be serious. But aren't you always going around presenting random evidence to Mr. Edgeworth? God. No. What? Well, that's... Hmm. Isn't that Sebastian? Uh, what are you doing here? Doing a stupid anime pose. Uh, he ignored us. He came out of the Grand Tower. What was he doing in there? Let's go investigate what Mr. DeBest was up to. Yes, let's go. Gotta hit elevators. Hmm, the hatch is open. Might be Mr. DeBest who opened it. Fuck this hatch. Does Pasha come in here? It's Edward over here. The safe's open. Did he come? Here to open that? Let's examine it thoroughly. There's something inside the safe. Let's go ahead and have a look. There are some documents in here. I mean, it's just a bunch of papers and huh? There's a photo here too. And this is a picture of huh? That, that's Mr. Knightley. Horse Knightley, the prison's bodyguard. Why is this picture here? And what are all these papers for? I don't know. We will have to read the documents to find out. All but certain there is a connection between Knightley and Dojin. Dojin's chess partner, whose identity remained unknown until now, was actually Knightley all along. That is proof enough. Tomorrow I shall interrogate him in the warden's office. Get him to confess that he's one of Dojin's henchmen. The thing he laid to rest near the flower bed twelve years ago. You simply must retrieve it. This seems to be a report about Knightley. Not to mention it was apparently right before Knightley was killed. Horace Knightley was murdered while he was being interrogated in the warden's office. 
Judging from the contents, this document was probably written by Patricia Rowland. I knew it. The question, however, is who this report was addressed to. Ah, the owner of the safe is... The conductor. Blaze the best. So this proves that Miss Rowland and Blaze are connected. Indeed. However, it's not just the two of them. Huh? Blaze the best and Patricia Rowland were searching for Dojin's henchmen. Saran Dojin, that dog-loving assassin. This means that there is a hidden connection between the three of them. I wonder what it could be. I don't know, but it must be related to this case. Ah, there's some other stuff in here that I remember seeing. On his finger. Looks like a expensive ring. Don't steal it. Uh, I didn't do anything yet. It's Horace Knightley's. The chessboard and the ring, all of his positions are inside the sink. So basically all of his stuff is evidence from the prison case. Correct. Then the knife and chisel that vanished right might be in here too. Let's see, Mr. Knight, Mr. Chisel. Hmm, they're not in there. I guess this is all just Mr. Knightley stuff. Let's see, that's too bad. Horse Knightley is dead. Raj, what? This game isn't over yet, you hear me? I, I. However, the game is not over yet. Unless I can see it through to the end. What's that? Years ago, prosecutor Manfred Valkyra, defense attorney Gregory Edgeworth, Isaac Dover, Jeffrey Master, crime scene, Dover's body. Hmm. Oh, I thought you can like move it around or some shit. Okay. I mean, was used in black market production. I hope Kay isn't tempted by it. Stealing money seems to be popular to be the popular trend for the UC says. Is it really an issue of trendiness? However, <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Edgeworth. The great thing about the Garasu won't be swept away by the current trends. Current trends? I should probably just leave it at that. It's pointless to go down to the meeting room. What's important right now is the storeroom. A hidden lift, along with a hidden ladder. Hmm. The person who made this place must have really liked hiding things. Hmm, something on your mind. Yes, as a great thief, I'm always on the lookout for new hiding techniques. Don't worry, Mr. Edgeworth. I want to do something like hide your fuzzy slippers. God, since when have I ever worn fuzzy slippers? Bitch, I know you do. I during an earthquake. No matter what heavy objects fall on top of it, I'm sure it will hold. Hiding under that table would be mean being surrounded by four naked men, though. <laughs> Great Thief always works outdoors, so I don't really use desks much. Which means I won't be the one hiding under it. It will be you, Mr. Edgeworth. Come on now, get it, get it! I refuse. This is code name Yatakaratsu, Mr. Edgeworth. Please respond. Over. What is it? I successfully infiltrated the 51st floor of the Grand Tower. Report your current position. Over. I'm also on the 51st floor of the Grand Tower. I'm standing right next to you. Over. What? You're here too? I. But what did you get here? Over. I have no idea what you're doing, but could we hurry up and resume the investigation? Over. <laughs> Temporarily joining forces in. 
Heh. <laughs> that doesn't sound half bad. Over. <laughs> well, then follow me. Over. <laughs> Roger, Mr. Edward. Over. <laughs> what the fuck were we doing? <laughs> the chain was used to keep people from opening this box, right? Yes, it is as you see. I can't just use rope escape tricks anymore. I need to learn chain escape tricks too. It really has become the dark age of great thieves. I suppose even thieves have their troubles. Alright, well, fuck off, I guess. Is there anything else in here? Seems like there's something missing here, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. That gem and ninja mask. So it would be natural for her to remember the events that took place to. Mr. Ashworth, there are masks here, and on the rooftop, just a cotton candy stand. I guess what's missing is an apple bobbing station and a shooting gallery. So that's what you meant. I know. I know. I have no need to worry. Hmm. One, ten, a hundred. Um. What are you counting? The numbers on the sign in front of the statue. Thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, two. 0.4 million? 2.4 million ounces? Just how many pounds is that, Miss Edward? At any rate, the floor does look like it is under a lot of weight. Alright, let's fucking leave. I don't want to be here anymore. Hmm. So oh, motherfucker. There's also ice cream. Is that what you prefer. You. Shelly to kill her. It's good to see you all well, Mr. Edgeworth. What are you doing in a place like this? As you can see, I am selling cotton candy. As I can see, you have an ice cream in your hand. Would you care for some heavenly cotton candy? Even sweeter than that. One bite will send you straight to heaven. That's definitely not something I'd want to buy from the killer. The meaning of my message. Have you understood it? I congratulate you on resolving the case, however. Can you truly say in good conscience that it has been solved? Have you been spying on us the whole time? Spying? Heavens no, I was simply watching over you. While well, disguised as a cotton candy salesman. Isn't that the exact same thing? What is this man's objective? Were you the one who murdered the president? No. The contract with my client has already expired. President Huang is a bit of a celebrity in the world of assassins, you see. Over the years, many attempts on his life were made, and yet he stubbornly lives on. He is a robust man, surrounded by flawless security. He even employs body doubles. Robust? That president? A town seems more apt. However, it seems this time the president's security wasn't exactly flawless. Mr. Rook had only just prevented your previous assassination, but this time... I did not kill him. It's not my principle to kill needlessly. I am also grateful to Rook, a worthy, a worthy adversary who was connected to me by fate. Next time, man, I did not kill a target who had no value to be killed. Thanks to Rook preventing the assassination. What does that mean? My client deliberately gave me a false target. It was a betrayal, most foul. I am now searching for my client. In all likelihood, it is the same person you are looking for. Is he saying that his client murdered a president? Just who is this person you are referring to? I, myself, am not allowed to say it would be a violation of the rules. I cannot disclose the identity of my clients. For to do so would create a problem of trust between my other clients. This is precisely why I am personally searching for them myself. What are you going to do when you find your client? Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Of course, they shall be rewarded with a punishment most befitting to of a traitor. Well, that person, what'll happen to them? I will leave that up to your imagination. 
But it certainly won't be anything pleasant. Oh yes, I'll tell you just one more thing. Three days ago, Sir Andosian escaped from prison. What? What? I'm sorry, what? And she was like, peace, bitch. Three nights passed. Dojin's solitary cell was found vacant. It was almost as if he knew I would come pay him a visit. He visited Dojin's cell. Could be that the person to kill her is searching for his... Well then, if you'll excuse me, I must be- I must get going. Ta-ta! Let us both do our best in tracking down that person. Sword killer and Doge. These two assassins. Hmm, the sound... the sound... It's Edward! Judge Courtney's phone is ringing! Could it be John? Hello? Hello! Mr. Edgeworth, how are you? Are you using a voice? Who is this? Someone you've been searching for, the one in the red hood. I don't know what voice to give it. The red hood? Aw, oh, fucking Jason Todd! Are you the person who ambushed Kay? Brilliant deduction. I'd expect the less from a prize you prosecutor such as yourself. Mr. Edgeworth, I want to listen on this too. Put it on speaker. Very well. I'll put it on speaker. Well, I must say that I didn't expect the girl to get an amnesia. Hey, what's that supposed to mean, you asshole? Well, that's not all you see. Hmm, perhaps I should let you in on this, Mr. Edgeworth. Actually, I was the one who ordered Blaze the Best to kill Jane Crane. Jill Crane. What? This must be particular spoke of. I really should thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. You have no reason to thank me. Oh, you should. You have a notice? My, that's troublesome, I know. I wanted you to catch Blaze for me. So I took dear little Kay. What? If Kay was suspected, I knew you would investigate the case. And I was sure that the great Miles Edgeworth would be able to catch Blaze. It was all according to my plan. Oh, god damn, you never mess with the main character's assistant. First in Justice for All, you fucked with Maya twice against Phoenix. And then, in this game, you messed with K Against Miles. How fucking dare you. How dare you. And you know, I get the feeling that you have the wrong idea, so let me clear something up. Blaze the Best wasn't the one who kidnapped Miss Courtney's son. You? Why do you know about the kidnapping? You and Miss Courtney are really quite alike, you know. She even came to visit you in the detention center and got all friendly with you. How could this person know something like that? Miss Courtney was supposed to have visited me using the detective's name. I bet you're wondering how I knew about the kidnapping, right? It's quite simple, really. It's because darling little John is in my care right now. What? Ha! Huh. You seem surprised. If only I could see the look on your faces. Quickly, little Kay. You have to hurry and steal him back. You wouldn't want to tarnish the Autogarasu's name on your first job, would you? You even know it's my first job! Why does this person know everything in so much detail? Well, I suppose I can't blame you for your mistake. Seems Blaze was after John as well, you see. So there were two kidnappings. He's such a fool, you know. Kidnapping his own son instead. There's John there with you. If he is, then I would like to hear his voice. Hmm, he's here, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, he's asleep right now. 
In that case, there's no way for us to know if he really kidnapped John or not. <laughs> I suppose you don't have a, to believe me if you don't want to. What is your objective? Is it to get Patricia Rowland declared not guilty? A not guilty verdict, eh? Gonna care less about that. So his objective is different from Blaze's. I think I'll keep my objective a secret for now. Well then, I must get going. I hope you enjoy yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't think you can get away with this. Then come and get me. I'll be looking forward to it. That is, if you could bring me to justice. But I highly doubt that. Oh. Why was there a boom? Nerf. Who in the world was that? I don't know, but we don't have enough information. Darn it, we're totally clueless. Meanwhile, they seem to know everything about us. Know oh, everything about us. Okay, you're right. Thinking about it, it is strange. How does the culprit know so much about us? It's so weird. I mean, they even knew about the kidnapping. Let's figure out how the culprit was able to obtain that information. Must recall, what exactly did that person know? Okay, this literally just fucking happened like two seconds ago. You don't need to like recap it. So by analyzing a conversation, figured out, okay, I know the source of this person's information. What? Really? Perhaps they have been tailing us? What? So we're being followed, shadowy, griefy. But, uh, mm -hmm. why do you say it? Well, oh, that's true. Fuck. Could it be my stuff? Is there anything that could have chance to bug? There must have been a hint somewhere in our conversation. That's right, that person knew something they shouldn't have. A conversation between Judge Courtney and myself in the visitor's room. The guys I had with me at the time was... Where was the bug planted? The Yadagarasu badge. Okay, may I see your badge? My Yadagarasu badge? No way! Why not? Mr. Edgeworth, just because you became a great thieves assistant doesn't mean you're ready to wear this badge yet. That's not it. It's very likely that a bug was planted in it. What? In my badge? Let's take a closer look. That- this is- Seems as I was right. How did you know? This person had been in contact with you. Me when I was knocked unconscious. Yes, that's why I thought one of your positions might have been bugged. However, that person also overheard my conversation with Judge Courtney. Even though that conversation took place in the visitor's room with, ju with just the two of us. Ah, so you're holding on to it at that time. Exactly. All the other evidence had been taken away from me. Only you have to go to this badge remained with me. So this creep's been listening in on us the whole time. 
Indeed, that must be how they knew about all the information we collected. Does that mean they're also listening in on this conversation? Most likely. Hey, Buster! Get creep! Eavesdropping is for cowards. Why don't you come out here and fight us fair and square? Hmm? What was that sound just now? Ow! Uh, that's Nicole. Honestly, y'all scared the bejesus out of me. Your voice was so loud there, little missy. I was so surprised I done fell flat on my behind. I I'm sorry. What are you getting so riled up for? You gotta hear this. It really grinds my gears. Yes, yes. Okay. Please just leave it at that. Unless you want to make tomorrow morning's headlines. Uh, th that was close. Ah, shucks. Don't be such a stuck in the mud. What's wrong with letting a gal open her heart and spill the beans? For now, I'll turn the bug off. How do you turn it on and off? So, did you find the kidnappers? The Swift was the boy you saw being kidnapped. This boy in the photo. Hmm? No, they ain't nothing like. He had a more stupid looking face and was wearing a collared school uniform. I thought so. And again, we were led astray by this woman's testimony. We'll have to conduct our investigation all over again. So we're back to where we started. And there are any are there any new leads? There's so only like twenty minutes left until two o'clock. Will we be able to make it in time? Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Edgeworth, what about the that about that phone call just now? Wasn't there a strange sound at the end? A strange sound? Yeah, the boom. How is this beginning part two? We're not even in the middle yet. That you mentioned it, it sounded like an explosion. Might be able to hint, might be a hint to establish the culprit's where. Mm hmm, I see, I see the sound of an explosion, eh? <laughs> I would appreciate it if you stopped eavesdropping on us. Mr. Prosecutor, you're as stingy as ever. First, let's see what she has to say. Oh my god, we're still investigating. This is still part one or part two. Are you shitting me? See, beginning part two. Like, how is this the beginning still? Jesus Christ. Like, how? How? Oh, my lord. Like, I am tired. But let's let's see if like how much more I gotta do. No oh, wait, where's the truck? Wait, gumshoe? What are you doing on the floor, buddy? I'ma how works help move the case forward. I reckon it's all in a good dice work. I'm not so sure about that. We've been chasing after an entirely different person. Indeed, it seems she did not properly examine the photo earlier. What now? Was my info really all that bad? 
No, some of the blame also falls on us for relying on a dubious information source. It's time for us to regroup and start over. Cut you out, I'm safe. If y'all think I'm staying quiet after being called a dubious solace, y'all got another thing coming. Fine then, guess I'll just have to tell you about the scoop I've been saving. You've been saving a scoop? Although I'm not expecting much, let's hear it. What is the scoop of yours? It's Mozilla. I have decisive evidence that the mighty Mozilla exists. Okay, let's go, okay? Hold up! I'm being serious. Y'all might not believe it, but it's true. We don't have much time, but I guess there's no other way. Would this decisive evidence of yours be something you recorded on the tape recorder? That's Mr. Edgeworth for you. You're good at figuring things out, aren't you? It's the sound of Mozilla spewing out fire. This place nearly became a sea of flames. If you say so. Don't make that face. If you think I'm lying, then have a listen for yourself. Ready? Here comes the flame. Gwah! How was that? Um, it's hard to tell over your shouting, but if you say so, I guess they could be flames. Miss Swift, did you truly witness these so-called flames? Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't really see it with my own two eyes. On account of, um, I wasn't actually there at the time. Lucilla had appeared, wouldn't you have noticed no matter where you were? And, well, I was way a ways off and was using a slightly unusual recording method, so... Hmm. Could you explain to me this recording method in more detail? Uh, I guess I just stuck my own grave. Come on. How long is this part two electric boogaloo? Through this, I was aiming for a scoop, so I didn't miss some wireless wire to... Wait a minute. Wireless wire tapping? If there's no wires, how'd you tap them? Okay, please don't concern yourself with these semantics. She was simply intercepting wireless communications and listening in without permission. I've been spending the last few days scalping out the Grand Tower of Memento. So you're investigating the black market auctions. In that case, you naturally would have tapped the immediate area surrounding the Grand Tower. You betcha. But right then and there, I hear an ear shattering roar. Finally, Mozilla appears. My heart is pounding. I feel him drawn near. So everything except the sound is just her personal impressions, right? And yet it seems that you didn't actually see anything. Well, I reckon right and small my thing. Anyways, I continue to turning, tuning into the situation. The Miss K over there almost shattered my eardrums. This literally just happened. I don't need. <laughs> I see, Miss Swift. While you were eavesdropping, you were surprised by Kay's voice and fell over. In other words, you did not hear her voice directly. You heard it via the radio waves emitted by the bug, did you not? Well. Th then does that mean the one who planted the bug on me was... I, I was just eavesdropping. I never stood the bug in nobody. Swift, did you do you mind if we borrow the tape for a while? Uh, just do what she plays already. Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Keys, Miss Barry. D did you find him? Not yet. Just where could John be? John? Uh, no, no, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. They don't know anything about the kidnapping. Regarding Sebastian, we found him not too long ago. Really? That's great. Thank you so much. Now I won't be arrested again. Alright, let's talk to Gumshoe. Gummy! Why are you running away? 
Detective Gumshoe. But Mr. Edgeworth gave up his prosecutor's badge. I just didn't know what to do. Detective Gumshoe, don't follow me. And then I began to think. Mr. Edgeworth isn't a prosecutor anymore. Doesn't that mean I'm no longer a detective? Aww. But that's not true. Even without Mr. Edgeworth, I'm still a detective, and investigating is my job. Detectives don't investigate just for the sake of prosecutors, pal. That's why, even if I'm on my own, I won't stop investigating. So you've been investigating by yourself? Then perhaps, at that time... You should thank your former subordinate. He gave me some valuable information which may have s may save K Faraday. Detective Gum shoot it. So Jill Crane's autopsy report. I went to the detention center to see how K was doing. <clears throat> That's what I heard. When you get to where I am, you could just create your own troops anytime you want. Okay, Faraday is a culprit. That was a truth that I simply manufactured out of thin air. Yes. Good. Very good. That face. That expression. You heard that conversation. That's right. And that's why I looked over the evidence again myself, sir. Gummy, that's amazing. So it was you who saved me. Okay, really glad you got your memories back. You have a problem with this game. I'm on the last case, okay? And this is still the beginning part, too. Uh, oh. Thank you. Do you get it now? I can investigate on my own. Hey, get the fuck back over here! <laughs> Dad, I'm good at voice acting. No, I'm not, actually. I'm terrible. Welcome in! Proven that you can investigate on your own. Now get the fuck over here. After all, you saved me. Oh, he's looking away. <laughs> he looks like a dog that got in trouble. Detective, I need your help. Currently, I'm not a prosecutor, nor am I much of anything else. You so I will pursue this case. I ask you not as a prosecutor, but as a friend. Oh, <gasps> character development. Detective Gumshoe, will you help us? <gasps> oh my god! He bowed. Oh, oh, please cut it out, sir. Got me! Okay, I get it. I get it, pal. Oh, the best theme ever. I can't bear to see Mr. Edward bowing his head to me like this. Yeah, me. Thank you, detective. What do you want me to do, sir? Detective mm -hmm. Gumshoe, please tell me what you found in your investigation so far. Roger, leave it to me, sir. I have three things to report. I found this gun wrapper. Okay. I also found this Hershey's wrapper. Um, and I found a book about gum. 
and Hershey's. I uh, oh okay. First up, it's about Kay's clothes that were sent to the crime lab. Traces of an extremely powerful sleeping drug called Sleepy Zzzz were found on them. So that means after Kay was drugged at Gord Lake, she was brought to the roof of the Grand Tower. That's right, sir. Now for item number two. The footage from the security camera at the Grand Tower's elevator. The footage that captured President Huang and Judge Courtney going up to the roof. The elevator is certainly the only way to get to the rooftop. And if the elevator was used, the person who used it would be caught on camera. Oh, that was uh, Miles talking. Blah, blah, blah. Pretend it was his voice. Exactly. In other words, if you look over the footage from a couple days ago, you should be able to see all an unconscious gay being carried up to the roof. And then, Gami, does that mean you? Checked out all the footage from before the incident two days ago. Uh, fast forward. I see, and the results? Well, actually, nothing came up, sir. Kay never showed up on the tape at all. That was unexpected. Guess it won't be that so easy. How was Kay brought up to the roof of the tower? Should take a moment to carefully. Well, then, let's hear your third and final report. Yes, sir. Last but not least, the most important thing to report. So happy to be able to investigate with you again, Mr. Edgeward. Gonna give it all my older rest the culprit. That is all, sir. Hmm. Apologize for putting you through so much, detective, don't you? However, that was your most important report. It had nothing to do with the case at all. Shouldn't have prefer I would have preferred something that's actually useful. Uh that merciless attitude. That's the Mr. Edgeworth I know, sir! A young boy has been kidnapped. I want you to help us search for him. A, a kidnapping, sir! The victim is a boy by the name of John Marsh. Uh, the kid with the horns? Yes, yeah, so you know about him. Thought a boy myself, sir. Was that this morning? That's right, he came out of that trailer over there, and then... He walked towards the garbage pickup area. The garbage pickup area? It's right over there, pal. This is where all the trash from the Grand Tower's offices is collected. I don't know what happened after that. Since I left the place around then, seems we must investigate the garbage pickup area. Alright. Important. Sir, have you seen this child? Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, you're such a joker. You didn't show that to me, I still don't know what it is. He proclaimed that he'd quite proud, probably. <laughs> oh my god. As expected, Mr. Edgeworth, how did you find him? Naturally, it was all thanks to his powers of logic and reasoning. Actually, it was just coincidence. Oh my god. <laughs> Search for Sebastian. I guess we weren't any help at all, were we? That would be silly. Of course you helped. Really, thanks a lot. Were you guys searching? Where were you guys searching, Simon? I was a bit far off, but we searched around the Sunshine Coliseum. Sunshine Coliseum, so they were by the shore. I like how it's the same fucking picture, too, from Apollo Justice. I'm crying. So, there were a lot of people at the event there, so I thought he might have gone as well. An event? Sounds like fun. Is it a festival? I want to go, too. It was a lot of fun. There were food stands, fireworks, and much more. Simon got worn out by the people in the crowd pretty quickly, though. You didn't have to tell them that. And so, once we wrap up the stage, let's all go there. Okay. Hey, anyway, Ray, I'm glad you were able to find him so quickly. Why is that? The truth is, our circus show is about to start soon, so I don't think we would have been able to help out with the search much longer. Hmm, sorry to burn you with this when you also need to prepare for your performance. Oh no, it's okay. Please don't worry about it. After all, I also didn't want to get arrested again. 
I was so relieved that you were able to find him, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, but the warden still hasn't been declared guilty yet. What? So you're saying there's still the chance I might be arrested? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, please don't tease him. Regina also searched with her friends. Ah, they were beaten to the punch. My friends, does she mean her animals? If I recall correctly, wasn't the Big Berry Circus supposed to have a performance today? Yep, that's right. We've all been practicing a lot for this upcoming performance. Will Simon also be performing? Of course, he's been practicing really hard, even though he keeps saying no way, no way, no way. He even rode in a balloon and did lots of advertising for us. So, Mr. Edward, you should also come by and see Simon's heroics. Very well, Liz, if we're able to successfully solve this case. It sounded like you were saying you use animals in your search? Yep, I thought it w we would be able to find him if I used Reg in a, s in a steak, but Simon said no way, no way, no way, no way, and stuck me. No fun. Hmm, Simon had been there. There probably there would probably be a mess pan pan mass panic about right now. Simon, why did you stop her? It would have made the city more fun, like the circus. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please forgive me. Why is he apologizing to me? I haven't said anything. Anyway, let's fucking go. Gummy said John headed towards the garbage pickup area. Indeed, there might be some traces of him left behind. Oh my god. Why is this case so thick and long? Garbage pickup time is at 11 a.m., so that's why there's no trash. When I looked here earlier, the place was overflowing with garbage, sir. Looks like today is the day when the bulk waste is collected during the garbage pickup. There really was a lot of bulky items placed here, pal. Garbage trucks, compact, trust any kind, okay. Why do you know about how bulk waste is supposed to? Ah, maybe Mr. Shields, in order to accomplish his Mr. Edgeworth acquisition plan, sends them like a moving process instructional brochure. There are times when you're so sharp it's scary, although they're few and far between. Goddamn. Spill carton is. It's the one John was drinking out of. There's no mistake, something must have happened to John here. Combined with Detective Gumshoe's testimony, the chances are high that John was attacked at the garbage pickup area. Oh my god, this is so long. If it was here, there wouldn't be many witnesses. But why would John have come to a place like this? It would be natural to think that he came here to throw something away. You have no way of knowing since the garbage truck has already collected everything. The garbage pickup area is locked. It's probably to prevent people outside the Grand Tower from exposing their trash. Okay, didn't you say that there were fireworks at the Coliseum earlier? Huh? What about them? Were those fireworks set off during the day? Yeah! Even just while we were there, a bunch of them were set off. What is it, Mr. Edger? That explosion sound we heard at the end of the kidnapper's phone call. Could very well have been the fireworks. Uh!
for the sound to have been picked up by the phone, it must have been fairly loud. That means the culprit was near the Coliseum. Even so, I bet the fireworks could be heard in lots of places around the Coliseum. Indeed, it would be impossible for us to search the entire area by ourselves. If only we could have the police lend us a hand. Oh, you were in a Fortnite game? Um... Not that much. I'm just connecting case dots. I'm hoping I'm toward the end of this part two because I'm tired. Okay, so yeah, Sebastian was kidnapped in a taxi. Yes, meanwhile, John was attacked in the garbage pickup, and the garbage was collected from there at 11. Uh, I've got it, so the blue truck was actually... That's right, the blue truck that came through the plaza was a garbage truck. However, be that as it may, the officer who gave us this information made no mention that the blue truck was a garbage truck. That son of a bitch! Talk about careless, how could someone mistake a garbage truck for a normal truck? That's not it today, okay? Today was the day for the collection of bulk waste. So it was a standard truck without a trash compactor that came by to collect the trash. John was taken away by this garbage truck. And where do garbage trucks go? To the dump, of course. Hold up. The cover was disguised as a garbage collector, right? Then the truck was probably fake, too. So how do we know they actually went to the dump? No, the garbage truck should have been real. Uh, why is that? That will be made clear if we simply take a look at the garbage pickup area. Um. This is the key? The garbage pickup area is locked. Uh, only a real garbage collector could have unlocked it to collect the trash. Precisely, we should assume that the genuine garbage truck was used. For example, the kidnapper could have put John into a large cardboard box. The box was mixed in with the rest of the bulk waste. The garbage collector would have carried John away without even knowing it. Okay. And if they say I threw it away by mistake, the box would be returned to them. Hmm, any garbage dumps nearby? Let's see. Ah, there's two of them. So which garbage dump was taken to? Well, it would be this one, because it's closer to the Sunshine Coliseum. We head to a... Based on the explosion sound we heard from the kidnapper's phone, we know that John is being confined someplace in the vicinity of the Coliseum. One of the garbage dumps is right next to the Coliseum. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. John was almost certainly taken there. In which case, the place he is being confined to must also be somewhere close by. Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir. Could I ask you to search the area around this garbage dump? You don't have to ask me like we're strangers, sir. I feel so distant. Please just order me around like you normally do, goddamn. Are you sure, Detective? Right now I'm not a prosecutor. Did I tell you, sir? Detectives don't just investigate for the sake of prosecutors. You have my thanks, Detective. Now go fucking do it! Mr. Edgeworth, look, it's almost time. Oh shit. 
Yeah, so it would best if we hurry. They should also be at their limit. <laughs> they can only argue with each other for so long. Detective Gumshoe, I'm counting on you. Leave it to me, sir. This may be this may be an un unofficial investigation. But I'll call in all my pals from the station to help. I'll help too. Stealing John back is my job after all. I'll be returning to the courtroom. I'm gonna stall. I might be able to draw out some more time. Okay, well then, even in the depths of the night- oh, mm, the clock just struck two- oh, no, we have to hurry! <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Uh, my introduction! When no other bird hair takes flight! <laughs> oh shit! Well, 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 if it is a former prosecutor, Edgeworth placed best witness. Face forward, we're not done talking yet. Like I said, you see why exactly would I have needed to help that person out, dear honor? You know it's a crying shame having a beautiful woman declared guilty. Honestly, it brings tears to my eyes. But you see, there's no reason for me to go out of my way to hide evidence just to save her. However, we still have the testimony of your son, Prosecutor DeBest. He testified that he handed the evidence over to you. Well, I haven't the slightest clue what he was talking about. I simply can't imagine why Sebastian would have said something like that, you know. Hello. What if there is evidence that shows your connection with w Warden Roland? Hmm. And what do you think you're doing, former Prosecutor Edgeworth? I was under the impression that you were no longer in any position to stand in court. Miles Edgeworth, how dare you barge into my prosecutor's bench? Francesca, I'm sorry. I need you to lend me the bench for a little while. Uh, what are you saying? Judge Courtney? I've brought vital evidence related to this case. Your Honor, please allow me to testify. <laughs> uh, she'd never allow it. Courtney Bioco Ray also asked that he be allowed to testify. There are no objections from the prosecution either, right? Understood. The prosecution also has no objection. There's no way you can allow something like this, you know, such high-handed methods. Who allowed this man to have a lighter in court? It's a metal lighter of all things, too. This should have been in the box of no return. What kind of court system is this? Surely are enough to warrant being held in contempt of court, wouldn't you say, Courtney? As long as John is still in danger, Judge Courtney cannot rule against the warden. I must convey her to her somehow that the search for her son is progressing. Judge Courtney, I ask that you have faith in me and my assistant. Now that you mention it, where exactly is she? She is currently out searching for the most important piece of evidence. Objection. It's a waste of time. There's no such evidence. Are you stalling for time? How graceful. I learned from the best. <laughs> most important piece of evidence, huh? Pie. I don't really know what the evidence is, but I think we should have faith in her. After all, even if she may not look like it, she's still the great thief, Yatakarasu. Somehow, it seems some shields understands. Judge Courtney, we've already determined the general location of that evidence. It's only a matter of time before she steals the evidence back. I understand. Oh, I didn't read that. Shit. 
think you're just ridiculous. Uh, the final evidence that you have found. Please present it to the court. Blaze the best and Patricia Rowland are somehow connected. Allow me to present the evidence that proves it. Which piece of evidence? Oh, yeah, we're Phoenix writing this shit. I got this. Blaze the best. This shows that you and Patricia. Motherfucker. It's sad, Miles. Truly sad, you know, for you to accuse me of being a criminal by presenting evidence like that. If you're gonna present evidence, you should present something more meaningful, you know? How? Is that- What? It was in your- Wrong. Okay, S detailed report a certain man. Okay, the man being the late Horace Knightley. And the one who interrogated him was the defendant in his trial in this trial, Patricia Rowland. So that means that was the interrogation where that's right. Patricia Rowland murdered Knightley in the aftermath of the interrogation. That very interrogation has been recorded in this report. That definitely sounds like vital evidence. Miles Edward, just now you referred to that document as a written report. Now just who in the world where was that written that report written for? I thought you might ask now, Francesca. And that's precisely what is most important about this report. I found this document inside the safe in the storeroom on the fifty first floor of the Grand Tower. The fifty first floor, the storeroom for the black market auction. Indeed, and the conductor of the auction was you, Blaze the Best. You received a report about the victim from the warden Ro from Warden Roland. In the face of this evidence, can you still say you have no connection to this case? In regards to that, I refuse to answer. What? It has yet to be proven in court that I was the conductor of the black market auction. Oh, have you already forgotten the events of this morning? I believe I already proved it back then, did I not? Do, do, do we need to burn the beard again? Because I can fucking do I would not deny that I was bested by you. However, that was at the crime. That was at the crime scene. Who knows if the results will be the same in court. An acquittal is so possible, you see. Till it's been proven in court that I am the conductor of the black market auctions. You can't prove that document was addressed to me. Your logic is twisted. That's not very nice, you know. My logic is a twisted, is it, Courtney? Don't you feel the same way? It was quite unlike you to allow former Prosecutor Edgeworth's statement just now, you know. It saddens me, you see, that you would fail to uphold the law as a judge should. In fact, I'm so upset by this, I may have no other choice but to use my last resort, you know. Uh, what? What the fuck are you burning? Is, you say, something that has not been proven in court does not merit any deliberation. I will have to overrule Mr. Edgeworth's claim. Because I thought until John has been rescued. You see, the truth at the scene and the truth in the courtroom are two very different things. So you're saying the truth can be distorted in court as long as it's for your sake. What a horrible thing to say. I'm not distorting the truth or anything like that, you know. If a not guilty verdict is handed down, then it becomes the truth. That's all it is, you see. It's useless. There's nothing we can do unless the missing evidence turns up. Now then, Courtney, why don't you deliver a not guilty verdict and let's get this over with. 
Draw that evidence. Is it gonna show up anytime soon, you know? Oh shit, Sebastian! Who uh, raised an objection just now? I just don't recognize Sebastian's voice! Apps! Sebastian. <sighs> Why did you come back here now of all times? God damn, how long is this part two beginning? This is the beginning part two. This is longer than my fucking soul. At least when we were doing the inherited turnabout, and that was like 20 parts. It was like flowing, man. This is not flowing. There is no flow. Just where were you and what have you been doing this since you abandoned your own trial? Suck a dick. I I'm sorry, I was up sitting on the bench. Such an act is unbecoming of a prosecutor. You should be ashamed. I, I, uh, well, uh, Sebastian, you just don't get it, you know. This court has no place for a sniveling child as yourself. Pops, I, I. I've come to present new evidence, Your Honor. So, please, let me take my place back at the prosecutor's bench. Sebastian, I didn't think he would come back. God damn, look how fucking ripped this dude is. Like, why are all these villains, like, ripped as shit? <laughs> uh, no one saw this now, Sebastian. You don't seem at all like your normal self. Uh, 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 Bops. Hmm? Come now, what's the matter? You want Daddy to play with you? I mean, a little bit, but no! Not today! Is that it? Well then, why don't we just head on back home? N r return to the witness stand! What's wrong? You're shaking like a leaf. Step away from the child. <laughs> Great, now I'm Felix Wright, just adopting all the children now. Your Honor, the prosecutor officially in charge of this case has just arrived with new evidence. The trial is still in session. In light of this, should we continue with the pro proceedings? <laughs> These little claps. I love them. Naturally, defense has no objections, Your Honor. <laughs> Ray, he's like, I love this drama. <laughs> Where's the popcorn? He's such a little shit. I wish your defense attorney originally charged would say the same. Except she's dead. She ain't going back. <laughs> she was murdered by that asshole. <laughs> Prosecution has no objections either, your honor. Courtney's like, god damn, I'm being pressured. Continue with the proceedings that will be necessary. Isn't that right, Courtney? He still believes that he was the one who kidnapped John. As long as John still hasn't found, Judge Courtney will remain bound by Blaze and nothing else will, be, will change that. They did not animate this sprite really well. It does not look right. So it is. Her cell phone. Hmm. My phone as well. Oh no, we got two phones ringing. One for B, one for my home, one for Pokemon Go. I got this. Uh, Uncle Ray's phone is also. Hello? <laughs> We're doing a five way call. <laughs> Mr. Ishwood. Mr. Shields. We found John, sir. Rescue John. Excellent work, detective. That kid was the most important piece of evidence, right? Where to go, gang? Okay. <laughs> I wanted to spread the word quickly, so I had everyone call. Oh, so John called Courtney. Gumshoe called Edgeworth. 
and Kay called Ray. Judge Courtney, it's for you. Yes, I see. I, I'm so glad you're safe. Make sure you properly thank everyone, okay? Be careful and come home safe. Now then, let us resume the proceedings. Now that I may once again swing my gavel to my heart's content. <laughs> You're kidding, right? This is just a sad joke, you know? Witness, this is no joke. Please return to the stand. Prosecutor DeBess as well. Properly return to your seat at the prosecutor's bench. <laughs> yes, your honor. Shit. We're having a threesome over here, or? <laughs> Sebastian to best. Uh, yes, Miss Von Carvel. I leave the rest to you. Huh? Going up against your own father. It won't be easy. I shall observe how things pan out from the gallery. Bye, bitch. <laughs> I guess she would relate to Sebastian very well with that case. Now then, allow me to ask once more, is the prosecution ready? Prosecutor, Prosecutor DeBess, what is this new evidence you wish to present? The missing knife and chisel, your honor. You mean they've finally been found? Damn! Prosecutor the best. Is this true? The, the knife and chisel. I wasn't able to find them. I searched and searched. I really did, but it was already too late. Too late? What do you mean? I remembered this morning when I passed by Pops in the garage at home. He was holding something wrapped in a newspaper. Pops, where are you going? Uh, Sebastian, just taking out some trash. At that moment I heard it. The faint sound of a bell. Could that sound have been by any chance? The bell attached to Doja's chisel? In other words, you're saying that the witness threw away the evidence. I searched for it, but I didn't make it in time. I'm sorry. Where exactly did you search for it? The garbage dump? I went to the garbage dump and searched everywhere. I thought the evidence Pops threw away had to be there. Isn't that Sebastian? Uh, what are you doing here? Ah! He heard us. So at that time he had gone to the garbage dump. But, but... This is all I could find. This is... It smells rather peculiar. Now that you mention it, there's kind of a funky smell coming from you as well, bro. Okay, I was at the dump, alright? Well, what do you expect? I was sticking through garbage. And what of the knife? I, I think it's buried somewhere in that giant mound of trash. But I couldn't find it by myself. I understand. I shall accept this into evidence. Ah, <laughs> well done, Sebastian. You never betray my expectations, you know. You search so desperately through the garbage, and that's all you have to show for it. <laughs> oh, what a tear jerker. I'm tearing up already. It's a bit too early for tears, don't you think? We haven't examined the evidence properly, and I think it's just a pointless waste of time, you know. Found on you, Sebastian. Miles. Show him the truth. That the truth could be exposed to court and taken down. So shields is back in the cell. Now all we need is a breakthrough. Prosecutor DeBess, let's take a closer look at the evidence. Uh, right. Oops. So if we. Hello, what do you expect? I was in the garbage. 
Let's have a look inside. It'd be great if we could find some kind of proof. This is the bell that was attached to Dojin's chisel. There are traces left behind on it. It's no good. There's not even a single smudge on it. What did you find, Prosecutor Tabes? Did you find anything? Darn it! Of course you did. You'd find nothing. Something like that can't be called evidence, you know? All this is trash. It may be sad, but that's the truth, you see. Where's Sebastian's efforts fall for naught? Dean's spell does not seem to be valid evidence. However, Mr. Edgeworth, are you really giving up? <coughs> Call him so. It's Edgeworth, quite unlike Sebastian here. Well then, is the prosecution finished with its argument? Justine, not yet. We're not through yet. There's still something we haven't examined. You're still not giving up. Struggling in vain is not cute at all, you know. Seems Sebastian hasn't given up yet either. I was just thinking the exact same thing. The last item remaining is it trash or is it evidence? If we don't examine it, we'll never find out. New game back. Jesus, how you doing all that shit again? We're still talking in the newspaper that the bell was wrapped in. Seems that Sebastian has the same idea as I do. Now, this is just wonderful, you know? So wonderful. It's to cry for. Is it desperation or simply reckless abandon? Not worthless scrap of newspaper. Huh, we don't know for sure whether or not it's worthless until we examine it, will we? Fashion, let's examine it post haste. Oh dear. Is this a handprint? There's something greasy on here too. Is it oil? Judge Courtney, we'd like to request a fingerprint analysis on this paper. Would you please summon someone from forensics? Your request is accepted. Contact the lab at once. Reporting, these are definitely fingerprints. However, it's from a glove. What? Didn't I tell you it's nothing but a worthless scrap of paper? Think about it, you know, when handling important evidence, what kind of idiot wouldn't use gloves? Oh wait, wouldn't that be you, the idiot who doesn't know when to give up? That's pretty harsh, talking to your son like that. What's wrong with calling an idiot an idiot? Damn, bro. If you want to be the best, like no one ever was, you have to be heartless. <gasps> Sorry, who gave this man the fighter? I have no compassion for worthless individuals, not even my own son. Ah, die. You know, you've always called yourself a genius prosecutor, haven't you? And I explained to you this morning why you were a genius up until now. That's right, it was all because of me, because of my authority. You were always being protected by people like Courtney and me. <coughs> now get that stinking face of yours out of my sight. Stinking. You know. Now that I think about it, you had stench might suit just suit you perfectly. 
Please keep it away from my nose or my eyes will start watering. Wrong. You're wrong, Pops. Sebastian, what are you talking about? You're the one who stinks, Pops. It's you, not me. What? You haven't noticed, have you? You smell, Pops. So much that you can't even hide it. Mr. Edgeworth, try smelling the handprint on the newspaper. A smell? Hmm. It smells like oil. I know something that smells just like it. Come to think of it back then. It smells like more oil. That's right. The smell proves it. Proves that the culprit who hid the evidence was... It's no good. I guess I can't become the best after all. Too soft. Can't. Can never be so heartless. I just can't break down my father with my own hands. Scared to best. Summon your courage. Become a different prosecutor from your father. Wasn't that what you decided? We are prosecutors, and as prosecutors, we stand in the court. In that case, isn't it our duty to shed light on the truth? Exposing crimes and bringing criminals to justice, even if the criminal is your own father. That is your duty as a prosecutor. Then I promise you that if you have the courage to stand up, I will show you the way. And if you cannot do it alone, then we shall do it together. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Allow me to present the evidence that connects this handprint with my father. Oh, shit. This is the smell of motor oil. The kind used for maintaining motorcycles. Both myself and Mr. Edgeworth have smelled this exact same smell before. Blaze the best, it was in your garage. And wouldn't you say these fingerprints have a rather peculiar shape? The five letters that spell D-E-A-T-H is exactly the same as your own gloves. Uh, uh, you could buy gloves like that from anywhere. It doesn't prove a thing. Is that really the case? That's not the only thing that these two pieces of evidence have in common. The fingerprints on the newspaper that was used to wrap up the bell. And Blaze's mechanic gloves. This is the unmistakable similarity they both share. This is the only thing that he's... Hmm, I'm not quite sure where this is. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I don't understand either. Oh, what? But it's on there! It's the dirt! Uh. 
Oh, it's the faded A. Oh, it was like the dirt and shit. Because there's the remnants of the newspaper. It's the A. Are you shitting me? That's so stupid. If you examine the imprint left by the layer, you'll see that it's mistakenly from this glove. The dirt saints. Okay, now you mention the dirt saints, you fucker. And the, and the newspaper. From the newspaper and the glove. Now you mention that. That's the first thing I point out and you're like, No, it's wrong! Fuck you. Match up. Then it will prove to be decisive evidence. Bailiff, please have these dirt samples sent to forensics for analysis immediately. Grrr, much worth! Sebastian! You lonely prosecutors, do you have any idea who I am? I don't give a fuck, dude. Pops, you can't run away anymore. It's been proven in court that you concealed the evidence. That you tried to cover for for the defendant. You say that I'm guilty? That I'll be sent to prison? Me, blazed the best? A couple of snot-nosed punks are gonna make me disappear? There must be some mistake. Be a man and admit your crimes. Do you really think you can survive if I'm not around? I... I'll be fine now. I thought I wanted to become the best press here so I could get your approval, Pops. But when I was kidnapped by your men and stuck in that dark room, I started thinking. I am truly powerless. Despaired and averted my eyes from the truth, but at that moment, Mr. Ezra stepped in and showed me the way. And now I'm no longer just a child chasing after his father's approval. I become capable. I can find evidence all on my own now. What? My men kidnapped you? Why were you? Pops, I'll show you the truth you never knew through this trial. Sebastian! How dare you speak to me like that? You should have just stayed as an idiot son. You may have hated me to the very end, Pops. But I have always looked up to you. Thank you for everything up until now. And goodbye. Phew. Since what did you... All you've ever been able to do is depend on me, Sebastian! Are you, did you burn yourself again, dude? It has been established that the evidence was concealed by Blaze the best himself. A judgment regarding his concealment of evidence shall be delivered at a separate trial. The missing chisel and knife still have yet to be found. However, once a search of the waste disposal site is underway, they will surely be discovered. The knife will be found? But what would happen to me if it's found? <laughs> no need to worry. You'll simply receive the punishment you deserve for your crime. Uh, punishment for me? Please, what in the world are you doing, you- you- after your- all you're posting about being able to create your own truths and not guilty verdicts. That's why I contacted you immediately to the prison incident in the first place. And to make matters worse, you even came out the wrong kid. I just can't believe this. You really, really, really are completely useless. That was certainly a violent outburst. Are you under prosecutor to best? Yeah, she got flustered and said a bunch of important stuff, right? Indeed, that's correct. He still doesn't seem very sure of himself. 
Might want to take some notes, kid. I'll buy you a notebook. Can it have a unicorn on it? It can have a unicorn on it. Damn right. Yes. Very well, and with that, this court is adjourned. Get the fuck out. Oh, excuse me. What? Huh? Wh who are you? What up, bitches? Good. Judge Courtney, still too early for a happy ending. Oh, I was gonna have some hibachi for lunch. Long G says the end of the trial is not always the end of the case. And who might you be? What up, whore? <laughs> the name's Shi Long Lang. I'm just a humble, lone investigator. Do you have some objection with this trial? <laughs> Not a chance, fuck that. The defendant there has a heart as black as a moonless night. Lang, don't tell me you're the one from 12 years ago. You got it, bitch. Ain't this nice? Now you're finally going to prison where you belong. 12 years is a long time coming for a suspended sentence, don't you agree? Agent Lang, what are you talking about? The SS-5 incident from 12 years ago. It's a case I'll never forget. 12 years ago? God damn, what is this with all these, like, double-digit cases? Well, a lot has changed. It all happened over 12 years ago. Back then, he and my father were close friends, and our clan protected the prisoner's life. But then he suddenly changed. It's as if he became an entirely different person. Nowadays, he doesn't even have a shred of faith in the police force of Zheng Fa. Twelve years ago. Where were we on then? Might I have something to do with Ling's father and President Huang? Patricia Rowland. And you blazed to best. Back then, the two of you killed off the Lang clan. <laughs> were you involved in the incident twelve years ago? That's right I was, however, I'm not here to chase after ghosts of the past. I'm here for you, Justine Courtney. M me You and one other. Hey, what up? <gasps> John! Miss Courtney, you're coming along too. As a suspect in the murder of the prisoner Zhang Fa Di Zhang Huang. Agent Lang, what evidence do you- Settle down, Miss Prosecutor. The investigation has only just begun. We're going to inspect the crime scene with the suspects in attendance. Agent Lang, did he get his hands on some new pieces of evidence? If you have any objections, then you can tag along as well. Damn Skippy, I shall. End of the trial is not always the end of the case. There are so many mysteries yet unsolved surrounding the murder of the president. Namely, the true nature of the giant monster and... Yep. Oh my god, we're finally done with the beginning part two. Yay. True identity of the person on the other end of the phone. To be continued, thank fucking god. Yes, we can end the stream. Holy goddamn. No, get out of here. Well, I ain't talking to you guys. We're done. Leave. Well, get out of here. Whew. That was. That was a doozy, guys. I think my lip is bleeding. Also, my mouth is hurting really bad because I went to the dentist this morning for teeth cleaning. And they did that classic, I'm going to destroy your mouth with the, the scraping. I just hate that shit, you know?
Sebastian got some bangers too. He's pretty chill. So tomorrow we'll get on with the middle part one. If it's short enough, which I highly doubt it's gonna be, we can do part two. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out. We'll try. We'll try our best. I'm glad we got the webcam shit sorted out. Glad we did a longer stream today. Because last week I was a little angry. And then last Saturday we didn't stream because my computer was just not cooperating. Still got to update the RAM. Probably have to update the processor. But we'll do the RAM first. But I'm probably going to update. Because I have two 8 gigabyte RAM to make it 16. So I want to do two 16 gigabyte RAMs to make it 32. Hopefully get it up to snuff. And then we'll upgrade the processor. That's going to be at least a $200 project. And I also want to update my case so it has more housing for uh, the memory. Because I do want to eventually update the H. DD to the SDDs. So, where's the HHD? I always mix up the letters because I'm dyslexic. Whatever. You know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for joining in on the bad voice acting. We got the merch in the merch store, even though it was snowing like fuck today in Michigan, we did get new versions of the tank tops because the old versions were discontinued so we have new ones available. Other versions of the designs are going to slowly roll out. We have the classic don't touch me and we have the classic I'm a survivor of the zombie apocalypse and all I got was this stupid tank all oh, this dumb tank top. So we got those two. As the tank tops well, for the men style, women style. Whatever works for you. No judge. You want both? Go for it. I don't care. I'm probably gonna do both. But we'll get it as the have a zombie free day design. We'll get the Gavaroni and cheese. We'll get the uh, Ace Attorney themed emotes on there. Why not? So until next time, everyone, have yourselves a zombie free day. I'm going to bed. Because I'm tired. Thank you to coffee supporters, doggo lover. If you want to be a supporter, you can. You'll get a nice shout out. You'll always be featured in the credits and also in the panel below. Again, see you next time.